All right, guys, so we're live on YouTube and on WhatNot right now. You can use my code to sign up for WhatNot. Now you get $15 to shop for free if you've never used WhatNot before. I just got converted to WhatNot Influencer. Let's go. All right, so <laughs> today we're going to do a class on how to make $1,000 to $2,000 a week reselling. Everyone cool with that? Um, $1,000 to $2,000 profit. This is like between three and 5 k a week sales. Everyone got that? You might want to pause or like, if you want, follow me on Instagram. Or, I'm sorry, follow me on YouTube because this will be recorded and mm -hmm. I'll show you guys the math behind how to do this for a full-time living. Hopefully yep. it makes sense, right? Um, so you guys are here to learn how to do, um, how to make a full-time living and there's going to be giveaways the entire time. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you're signed up on uh, whatnot, you have to use the mobile app, you can get $15 for free with your first purchase and also um, giveaways the entire time. So we're going to try to get to 175 entries and we'll give away the first item, which is an Athleta sports bra, which I lost. <laughs> oh, it's on the left side of the um, <laughs> merch. Yeah. So this Athleta sports bra, Good Athleta morning. is a brand that I would pick up for you guys. That's what the logo looks like here. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yep. Okay, so this is the logo. Um, how do you get lower cost shipping supplies? Personally, I use um, I use Amazon. So um, if I need the items right away, I will use Uline, and Uline will usually deliver next day. Um, but it's not cheap. Cheap Amazon has done really well for me. Also on eBay, there's a seller called 3RB, and they're ValueMailers.com. ValueMailers.com has an awesome awesome rate on shipping supplies and again guys follow me on um, um, on YouTube please and this will be recorded so that you can follow it later two more entries guys and then we're gonna get started um, that's awesome I can now see the now chat. you can see the chat thank you I'll probably get an iPad for us okay yeah. my YouTube name is also daily refinement mm -hmm. all right guys you guys ready for the first giveaway feel free to ask questions on Three, YouTube two, one, let's go giveaway giveaway If you want to join the giveaway, then join in on the What Not auction that's happening right now. What's well, uh, I, you know what? Why do you guys get to see the winner earlier? Blue Cat 51, are you here? Blue Cat 51, are you in the house? Blue Cat. It's a bot. It's crazy. So it is interesting because one thing that sucks about What Not is that you have to give away stuff to bots because there's all these programs that are hanging out in here and they just win giveaways all day. And unfortunately, I can't give away, I can't like, I'm not supposed to redo it, but luckily we have a lot more giveaways today. Um, the next giveaway will be, and also my merch is for sale now. In the auction, you can let me know which number you want and I'll run it today and show you, I'll start it at a dollar and hopefully you win. If you want the merch, let me know and we'll, we'll run it. So I'll, I'll do um, a t-shirt. RCQ, yeah, you have to, he's doing all the giveaways on whatnot because it's a little bit more streamlined with shipping and all that. So, so if you want the giveaway, go to get, go to whatnot right now. And awesome. Follow. Blue Cat, glad that you're here. Daily um, refinement. So when you get the Athletic Sports Bra, let me know how much you sell for. And the next thing is going to be a t-shirt. Um, giveaway. Michael Daly has a question. Go ahead. Did you ever get the Lululemon Sweat Collective discount? No, I didn't. But I should. I, I bet I could. If as long as I get in the shape, I think I could. Uh, so why not be an influencer for Lululemon? Also, I wear pretty much all Lululemon because I'm lazy and it's cheaper. I don't know if you guys have bought Lululemon before, but it's cheaper to buy Lululemon than other brands because they last forever. All my Lululemon clothes are like four or five years old, and they they look exactly the same as day one. I just don't use the dryer, so um, mm. it is cheaper so far. Hard to get a discount with Lululemon, but I have a couple of connections. Um, so, in, as in connections, I just know people who work there and they let me know what the best deals are. I don't have any backdoor connections, but um, mm -hmm. I am figuring out what to sell. And we will have Lululemon at least once a month soon. So, um, the next giveaway is going to be for um, a Led Zeppelin shirt. Brand new, Led Zeppelin. So, we're going to be giving away stuff all day today. And I'm going to show you guys how to make a full-time living reselling. Uh, okay, you guys ready? So I just entered in um, right here. So on whatnot, you guys can see this. And um, on YouTube, 
-hmm. have this rack of clothes right here. And what I'd like to do is I've priced all these items at $23. There's, I believe, 80 of them. So you can buy them right now and the average is um, gonna be $30 plus shipping. So if you guys wanna buy them right now, I'll show you as you go. These are the types of items I would focus on if you are a brand new reseller. So I would go into the chat, the numbers are random. So pick number one through 80 inside of the- um, Buy it now. Inside of the buy it now for what to buy. And I'm gonna show you guys all these items today as we go so you can get an idea of what you're gonna, what you should um, buy and sell. Also, I have three level tier of jeans I wanna show you guys. So jeans is one of my main categories. Um, Jeans is one of my main categories for reselling, and I'm gonna show you guys the difference between low, mid, and high. And I have examples of all of them for sale. So as people buy them, I will show you the samples of the different sizes so you guys can get an idea of pricing. You guys can get an idea of what I'm looking for, but as these sell today, I'll show you guys the types of items. The, these are all items that I thrifted on Sunday, so I wanna show you guys the, um, mm -hmm. what I'm looking for, and that way you can get an idea for how to run your own business on whatnot, or eBay, if you have any questions on what sells and what doesn't sell, I'll go over it. Also, I will give you a shout out if you buy it on, um, if you buy it, I'll give you a shout out. So Flippin' Mimi Texas, please put your, everyone put um, her username in the chat so we can follow her. And she wanted number eight, so I'll show you guys number eight. <laughs> Quick question from YouTube, yep. three girls. Do you have to apply to live stream on Poshmark? I already have an account. Yes, you have to apply. Mm. I just applied. So number eight. So this is the type of stuff that I sell. This is just pretty straightforward. A pair of Madewell jeans. And this is size 28T and it's a nine inch high rise skinny. So this is a, a normal item that I would sell. And I'm gonna go over all the different items today and show you guys. So. Number eight, number 16 just sold. And the bangers in here are, there's a couple of items worth over a hundred. So if you guys, you guys can come up, but I'm gonna show you guys on average, the items sell for between 24 and $30 plus shipping. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that um, I don't pick up items less than that. So this is gonna be the craziest part of today's uh, lesson, which is, can you teach context? Okay, so it's very, very hard to, because um, okay, when you sell for bulk, you don't get as much money because you have to sort of average it out, and I can't have people taking too big of L's. So after the next purchase, we'll run the next giveaway, which I think just happened. But the next piece that I pick up, I pretty much pick up all Victoria's Secret because it sells fast, especially if the logo's in the front, because people like to impress other people, and this lets people know that you're in style. So um, that was piece number two. So we're gonna run this next giveaway real quick. And it's gonna be, let me just add it real quick. It's a Led Zeppelin shirt. Led Zeppelin. Hey Victor, I wanna run a pop-up show at 12. So do you wanna pick something? No, no, I'm doing that one now. I'm saying for you. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so I'm gonna run this giveaway right now. For Led Zeppelin shirt, you guys ready? While that's okay. going, we have a question. Okay, question? From Kyle. Do you research or read any magazines, etc., to figure out what is popular fashion trends, or are you just gifted and always know what's in demand? Hell no, I am not gifted. Okay, so, <laughs> the fastest way to learn, Flufferton with the win, congrats on the, the Led Zeppelin shirt. Um, next giveaway is the CBGB shirt, brand new. Um, okay. Essentially, it comes down to experience. The more experience you have selling something, the more you know about um, what it's gonna sell for. You get an idea of what things go for. So as an example, right, I'm gonna show you guys um, a sample right now. Let's see. Okay, let's do a sample right now. 817. You guys all paying attention? <laughs> so, 817, Rag and Bone. I'm not gifted, I just have a lot of experience. Um, let's see. 
Okay, we're gonna run this real quick. Eight oh one. Okay, guys, y'all pay attention. This is we're gonna start this at one dollar just to show you guys real quick. So this is a pair of rag and bone jeans. This is the tag, rag and bone, twenty six. This is a brand that I pick up. Can you guys see that? A brand that I pick up. It's size twenty six. It's in good condition. I always check the condition of the cuffs at the bottom. So this has a little bit of fraying, which you could cut off, no problem. There's no actual damage. That might be actually part of the style. Mm -hmm. So these are in good condition. So you can see what these sell for on eBay. And on whatnot right now, they're going to end around probably $27, $25. We'll see. Or $25. And now you just remember. Okay, so KMAC bought it for $23. Now remember... There is a reseller celebrity tax you pay if you buy something from me on whatnot because I have a following. So you can see I have 250 people in the chat and a normal person is probably going to have um, 10 people in the chat. So you get a premium for if you have a following, right? So here's the question for you guys. Should I just run every single auction myself, right? See, Flippin' Mimi is saying she can't move rag and bone for that. So does it make sense? to send every single item you have that's good to me because I'm going to get more money for it? And should my life just be show up, stream, and then go home? Because you're going to get more money as an influencer. You're going to get more money uh, if you have people in the chat. And it, it's going to be different. So it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Also, the cut is going to matter. The color is going to matter. The condition is going to matter. Somebody's going to sell rag and bone that sells instantly. Other people, if they have uh, bad pictures, bad pricing, bad titles, they're not going to sell for anything. Let me tag the um, giveaway real quick. Mm -hmm. The next giveaway is CBGB. Let me just tag that in there. And guys, I figured out the purpose of my life last night. You guys ready? I had this. Okay, so I followed my wife's advice. Um, well, actually, I, didn't, I followed her lead. Because as, as you guys know, I, I have an 18-month-old. And she basically doesn't care what I say. She just follows what I do. So if I dance, she'll dance. If I go outside, she'll want to go outside. She just... Copy. So my wife, when she wants to learn how to do something, she looks it up. I know I'm a dumbass, so when I want to learn something, I just try it. She doesn't do it that way. She looks it up and then does it. So her personality traits a little bit different than mine. So I looked up how to set goals because I was struggling with what goals to set. I, I am good at reaching goals, not good at making goals. So I watched like every single video. And guys, smash the like button if you're on YouTube right now because I'm going to drop some serious heat on you guys right now. Um, please sign up for whatnot using my code as a thank you for this tip I'm about to drop <laughs> on your head. Okay, you guys ready? So, um, essentially, whoa, it's a dangerous chair. Um, this guy said, think about what would be cool, something cool that would happen to you in the next five years. So, for me, this is better than what's your five year plan, because that's hard for me. A lot of changes in five years, I don't even know where I'm going to be. I might be running something different. So, that's hard. But something cool to happen to you in five years is a good thing that you could think about. So for maybe you are in five years, you're running your own resale shop, maybe you have a couple of employees. Um, I heard somewhere that you want a team the size of, that you can feed with two pizzas. I think I'm right there. I think between Connor and Christine and the four people who work here, they, I could feed everybody with two pizzas. And apparently that's the best team. Because working for yourself, people say that, but eventually you're going to want to hang out with other people, you're going to want to go out. So Everyone, please let us know, let me know, what's something cool that could happen to you in five years? Is it that your passive income is more than your expenses? So let's say you have you know, four pieces of real estate and they, they pay you $4,000 a month and your bills are $4,000 a month. I call it your monthly nut. I don't think a lot of people use that term. And yes, one of my workers says she can put down 80% of a pizza. So for her, <laughs> I'm, I'm only allocating like... Um, three to four pieces per person. So if you end up eating more than that, then um, you have to provide your own pizza beyond the two pizzas that I provide. Um, but start with what you think would be cool in five years. Is it you pay off all your debt? Is it you have a, a for me, I would like 10 really great memories with my family. This is travel. Um, my wife and I have been to like 30 different countries. Like I pretty much do whatever I want every single day. But what I remember are these big memories. Like I started the podcast with Tech two years ago. If you look at my profit loss statement, like from 
when we started the podcast till now, I've never done less than $100,000 in gross. So like, since we started the podcast two years ago, I've never grossed less than 100 k in a month. That's not profit, that's just coming in. Um, so I've also, if you guys have been following me, I have pretty good work-life balance. I work on reselling 15 hours a week. I um, make YouTube videos 15 hours a week, and I also run that group with my colleague, Tekken Sports, who's on Whatnot as well at um, the spot underscore Coral Springs. So he's on here too, he's everywhere. But since I joined forces with him, that was a huge milestone for me. So that plus in five years, I'd love to have a podcast every single week. So that's 250 podcasts that are all set. Um, I want to have a million subscribers. Right now I'm 130,000 subscribers. I want to be in the best shape I want to be. So, okay, this is good because once you have your goals, everybody have goals? Once you have your goals, then I'm going to have to reschedule that. Hold on a second. Um, let's see. Can you email this lady and tell her that I need to move it back to this afternoon? Um, okay, so, um, 15 hours a week reselling, 15 hours a week making YouTube videos, 15 hours a week uh, running the group, right? And best health, and now you have your goals. Okay, this is the best part. Um, oh, snap. Can you answer that? Yes. I'm going to call him back. Okay. There's so much <laughs> Goodness, Chris. There's too much going on, guys. Uh, yeah. Wait, let me try to get this person again. They're here to pick up Ellie's items, I believe. So, and I just did that consignment deal for 7,700 items. And, um... The person you are trying to reach is not available. Oh, my God. Come can you run out and see if they're here? Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you. Um, this is and, and let them in there? Okay. Yeah, I guess. thank you. Um, yes, okay, so here's the thing. You have this goal, right? Now, I'm sorry, you have something cool that's going to happen to you. You guys ready? You mm -hmm. follow? Something cool. Then you make your goal. Okay, so reselling everything is saying, is YouTube subscribers actually a healthy goal in life? Not really, because I can't really control how many YouTube subscribers I have, right? Um, but what I can control is how many videos I put out each week. So as you guys know, I'm in the education niche, so my niche is not entertainment. So as entertaining as you guys think I am, I'm really not compared to like... Um, someone that's ridiculously good looking or an amazing lifestyle channel or a celebrity or prank channels or comedy, those are gonna always rank above me. I'm an education channel. So because I'm an education channel, all I have to do is be educational. So that's all I can do. Best week, as many videos as I can each week that are educational. I don't have a more specific goal than that right now, um, but that is where I'm at for YouTube. For reselling, my goal is $30,000 a day. So $30,000 a day, guys, working it backwards, is $10 million per year in revenue. I want to do that every single day. Right now, I'm only at about um, maybe five, five to 8,000 per day. So I want to 6x the amount of revenue that I'm doing. And the main key, I think, oh, let me see. They're not supposed to be here till 11 to 2, but people are always later early. Um, yeah, so Pentimento says, with only two pizzas, I think I have found a way around that. So, so far, I've done $30,000 in sales twice. One time I did $36,000, one time I did $37,000 reselling with the same team. It just depends on what you have. Okay, so for whatnot, there's a bunch of, there's a, let's try to get back to 185, I think we're already there. I'm going to run a giveaway now. Somebody want to buy another one of these items so that we can show it? I'm going to run a giveaway now. Um... I'm sorry, what was the last consignment? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Is there, are, there any more, are there more questions? There are more questions. Okay, let's do it. Um, let's see. John Snow says, how do I get more views on my items even when I've optimized my listing? That's great. Okay. Amber Lee Designs, thank you for the win. You get the CBGB shirt. Number The fourth giveaway is going to be this LMFAO shirt. Okay, this is so great because I'm getting to this point. Sorry, I'm really long-winded. Okay, so... <laughs> You need to understand every single way to get more views. Does everyone here know? Does everyone here know every single way to get more views? Every single way to get more views. Nurse Willa is saying, no, I'm not taking my clothes off for free. I don't work for free. That's my only fans. Uh, I don't know why people ask that. It's not appropriate. Espresso um, says list more. 
No, listing more is not how you get more views. So um, I have this crazy plan like for everyone. So what we need to do is we need to sell out because while I'm making videos, I also have to sell something. So remember guys, <laughs> The items on this rack are awesome. So you buy them, they're randomly ordered, and I will show the pieces we go. And we haven't hit any of the bangers yet. There's really good pieces here that we haven't hit yet. They're listed in the buy now for 23 bucks. If you want to buy the jean lots, I will also show you the different price points for that. Um, okay, so back to the point of how to rank things higher. Um, you need to know every single trick in the book. Everybody follow? All the tricks are, I just did the giveaway. Um, all the tricks are, Promotion. Promotion is like YouTube. It's like giving stuff away. All that stuff works. Promotions. There's nine different promotions that you can use on eBay. On whatnot, there's thousands of different ways to promote your items to get more people into your chat. That's why whatnot is cool because you can add an entertainment. eBay is not entertaining. eBay is just, it is what it is. So you have to be really, really good at title structure, photos, item specifics, all that good stuff to really understand how to make things rank higher. So if you send me a review, I'm gonna, I have a new response now. If somebody sends me, will you review my store? I'm just gonna respond back, it's I. Because <laughs> I don't know what context you're asking me to review. Like, what are you looking for? You want me to review your photos, or your titles, or your item specifics, or your price, or your returns? What is it that you want me to review? Because if I have nothing to review it against, nothing to compare it to, I'm just gonna say it's fine. I, I don't know what you're looking for. If you want to store as many items as possible, does anybody have that goal? You want to store as many <laughs> items as possible and you don't want any sales. You just want the biggest store. So if you want the biggest store with no sales, everything would be priced too high, there'd be no photos, the title would just be one word, shirt, um, everything would be $1,000, no returns, shipping would be $2,549 per item, no one would ever buy anything from you. But you would reach your goal of having the biggest store because nothing would ever sell. So it would just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, we have a couple of sales. Uh, actually, a bunch of sales. So we've got number 19. So then to get more views when they've already optimized, you think the last, next step would be promotions? I'm going to go over all nine promotions for you guys in just <laughs> a second. So this is a Madewell high-rise denim short, size 28. So nice, or size 26, a good size, good cut. Mm -hmm. Can y'all see? Okay, that was number 19. Let's see if we hit any good ones. That's, that's, that's average. Uh, okay, Furious bought all the high-end jeans, which I'm gonna show you guys in just one second. And Furious, if you wanna buy one more set of the low-end jeans, we'll give you five more free because you, we need to buy in sets of three to maximize shipping. So number 12 is, I'll go over how to make things rank higher in just one second. Mm -hmm. Number 12 is a win. It's a, it's a heavy North Face Denali jacket. This is a good one. Women's size small. This is a good piece. Can you guys see? Mm -hmm. So North Face, that's a good one. Nice pickup Retro Dragon. Um, these are the types of items that I made a full-time living on eBay on. So um, I sold 100 to 140 a day of these types of items that are coming in, and we haven't hit any of the bangers yet. Okay, so this is how you rank higher. Everyone paying attention? Um, let's try to get the 225 um, entries before we give away the next item, which is the LMFAO shirt. Um, this is how you rank higher. Better titles, better items, better photos, better return policy, more accurate condition description, more complete and relevant item specifics, better pricing, better return policy, better shipping policy, better selection of goods in your store, better reputation, cheaper cost of goods allows you to offer your prices a little bit lower, Combined shipping is what customers really like, more items for a lesser deal. So that's gonna really help you get to the next level. As an example, there are three tiers of jeans in my store. Jeans that are $2, jeans that are $4, and jeans that are $7, right? So think about the price point I am at, two, four, and seven. How fast do you guys think I wanna sell items with a $2, $4, and $7 price point? Guess, how fast do I wanna sell items with the price point of two, four, and seven? Carter says fast, that's pretty, mm -hmm. pretty accurate. <laughs> a week? Yesterday. <laughs> that, yesterday is, is pretty close. So essentially, with the price point of two, four, and seven, I want my items to sell as soon as I post them. Right, so I've listed them. 
The higher end jeans are seven dollars already sold. I'm going to show you guys those right now, so you guys can see sort of the brands that I buy. Okay. Wait, can we go on the road? Can you guys bring it over? Oh, no, never mind. I'll bring it over. <laughs> Connor's gonna need the help. I can sort of show. Actually, I'll roll it over. He's trying to do. Yeah, I'm gonna have all of these items. I'm gonna have Connor hand me these one at a time so I can show you the burn. Actually, yeah. Um, okay. So I can use that, yeah. And I'll, I'll switch you. Okay, so first brand that I buy is Adriana Goldschmidt. Can you guys see? Can they see? Yeah. They can see. All right. Adriana Goldschmidt is a brand that I buy. Next is Madewell. Now, the thing is, with the higher end tier with Madewell, you would want to get bigger sizes. So this is size 28. So 28 is going to sell faster for me than size 26. So Lucky Brand, I only buy size 6 and larger. This is... Rag and Bone, so Rag and Bone, as you guys saw earlier, Rag and Bone size 30 is much better. Can you rehook that? Then Free People, Free People size 31. So obviously these jeans for $7 will sell out right away. I don't get very many every single week, and usually I run them on whatnot anyway, because you guys know I have the Resar Celebrity Tax. So I sell <laughs> things for 50% more because mm -hmm. of the following. More free people, size 31. You guys realize this, right? How many of you have seen a reseller celebrity sell things for more than you can sell for? Hopefully that makes sense to you guys because that's just part, that's part of this game. Everlane. Everlane. Although it's different on eBay, right? It's not, different, it's not different on eBay. But you didn't like when people would go to your store and then... Okay, so I will talk about that. Okay. <laughs> the next one is J Brand. Can Sorry. you guys see J Brand? So yeah. um, I kind of had this part. Um, um, Tech said that he doesn't like selling things because he's a celebrity. He wants to just sell things because of the thing, right? So this is Citizens of Humanity. This is a nice pair. Really good condition. Um, he wants to sell things because of the merit of the item. So for me, I buy Levi's. 357 series. I personally like the 7, the seven series the most because it sells well. Um, but on eBay, if I advertised my store on YouTube, things would sell way faster. You guys know Shed Flips, Garage Flips. Does he still make videos? Lonnie? He told me at one point he was selling 60 to 80 percent of his items to YouTube subscribers. Hmm. That's a lot. That's like a lot of your audience members buying your items. So I want to explain something to you guys real quick. This is Bonobo's fantastic brand. Hopefully YouTube can see this okay. Thank you, Brandon. Yep, they, um, they're saying exactly what, what not saying. Okay. We got a um, super chat from Brandon. Nice. Do you want... Let's ask this question. Let's answer this question. Um, they say, Page, do, only you, larger sizes. do you have a system for differentiating men's and women's clothes? I get, I'll get clothes from the bins and not know if it's men's large or women's large. So for women, they have these worthless pockets that you can't put <laughs> anything in. Like your, sh your phone would just stick out like this. So that's how I tell women in men's jeans is the pocket. Huh. Usually not worth it. So current Elliot is another piece that sometimes I sell it and sometimes I don't. It depends on the, um, the styling. Uh, I'm sorry, what was the rest? Was how to it? differentiate whether it's women, men's oh, so or women's. Also, when the pockets on shirts are different. So like men's shirt, the pocket, the button is actually on the right side of the garment if you're wearing it. So I think men are always right. So men's shirt, buttons on the right. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> That's how I remember. Okay, so I don't know how you guys, how you guys remember, but personally, that's how I do it, right? I, don't tell my wife that. <laughs> Adriana Goldschmidt, the stilt. No, but I honestly, the pockets and the button is the main thing for me. So buttons, and yeah. And the sizing. So women's sizes are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Mm. Junior sizes are 1, 3, 5, all the way to 19. Men's sizes are usually the, the dimensions are small, medium, large. And mm. remember, men, it goes like 2XLT. All that stuff is different. This is more AG. <laughs> um, Silver Lake is this brand that is quite expensive at um, Nordstrom. But the resale is just like all right. 
It's like 250 to 300 dollars at Nordstrom, maybe like 30 bucks on, on eBay. So we're going to that hanger. So we're now showing, um, a gold is a really, really, really nice brand. Can you guys see us okay? So, oh, I'm sorry, we're going to that white divider. Um, so these are the types of brands that I would sell on my eBay store primarily, is the ones that we're showing right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, giveaway time, let's do it. Um, so I think we sold another item too. I'll, I'll pull up that item and do the giveaway. Mm -hmm. You guys ready? Um, number 24 and 4. We'll draw the giveaway. We also have a question. Yep. From Case Academy. Been watching your channel for months. Would you have any advice for people who are handicapped and stuck at home um, in terms of sourcing? Source online. Let's see. So mostly just, are, are there any specific um, um, yes. types of sourcing that you'd, su you'd suggest online? There is. Okay. Um, let me just take your fill off. Um, Connor, will you grab a um, sticker from the front somewhere? Um, number four is this pair of um, retro Columbia snow pants. Nice. Old logo. These are beautiful. Yeah, those are nice. Oh, no. All right, let me grab one real quick. I wanted to get a... Let's see. Let's just take one of these. <laughs> Sorry, Will there's you write a lot going on. on it? Okay, who won the giveaway? Sweet 01, you won the LFMAO. Let's go. <laughs> Sexy and I know it. This is my true style. I don't really wear it that much on, on camera, but I like to wear Speedos that are animal print. <laughs> I'm an dear. animal print Speedo oh kind of guy. <laughs> All right, let me just pin the next giveaway real quick. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of stuff, to, lot of stuff going on <laughs> each day, but it's, it's fun. It Keeps helps. things fun. Okay, so that goes on and the next sale was 24, which is, oh, this is a good one. So number 24, this is a win, is this Mountain Hardware uh, Windbreaker, and it's men's size extra large, so really good size, really good condition, no company logo, that's a nice pickup. So we have, I think, 80 of the finds. And to give you guys an idea of um, the math behind all this, each one of these things that we're going over today makes six figures. So you can either do thrifted finds that are 20 to $30, or you can sell jeans, all one category. So you can be an everything seller and sell all clothing, but it's just easier since they're all sold the same way. Does that make sense, guys? Even though these are all different items, they're all sold the same way. Is that... Hopefully that makes sense. Oh, number 13, I missed, sorry, Field. Um, number 13. Number 13 is this pair of Adriana Goldschmidt, the Everett. Are these men's? Let me see. These are men's, so 29 by 32. Adriana Goldschmidt men's jeans are worth a bit more. What's up, guys? Uh, oh, yeah, check the pockets. The most I've found is 200 bucks. <laughs> really? What's the most you guys have found in pockets? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold so, on. Go ahead. Oh, back to that question. Are there any specific, like, online sourcing that yes. you recommend? So I recommend Shop Goodwill. That's Goodwill's online site. Mm -hmm. um, I also recommend uh, zi zi er, Live Auctions. The live auctioneers. I recommend uh, high bid. I recommend whatnot. Um, actually, sourcing online for me has been, it's been hit or miss. So it's not going to be that easy. Um, I'll show you guys the most money I've ever found. I took a picture of it. <laughs> you guys ready? I found this in a backpack. What? <laughs> This is the most I found in a, uh, just found that it was like, you know, 50 grand. Just, all right. <laughs> um, the next giveaway will start shortly. It's this Red Hot Chili Pepper shirt. We're doing an all giveaway show today. 
I know. I have a dry sense of humor, so sometimes people don't know if I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, Flippin says shop goodwill is too high. It depends on what you're looking for. The most of the record breaking finds I've seen on on YouTube and Instagram are all shopgoodwill.com. But that's probably just because so much volume moves through there. Um, goodwillfinds.com. I don't. I personally recommend everyone shop local. So if you live within a one day drive of a Goodwill bins, I recommend you do that. So if you don't live anywhere near one. Um, I would go. Also, if you're physically unable, I don't know if I would recommend reselling. Reselling is very physical. Let me guys know in the chat what you guys think. I probably would aim for like online writing. I would aim for things that don't require physical. Physical is ridiculously difficult. Oh, number 30? Nothing. That's crazy. Let's see. Oh, I can see you? Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, just okay. standing there. 30 is a really nice North Face windbreaker. Um, size women's small. It's, these are great colors. That's a nice piece. Um, I wouldn't, I, what do you guys think? Reselling on a, is physical. I think it's physical. It, it depends also how many items you're moving. Um, I'm averaging right now about 11,000 steps a day reselling. I don't know. It depends on where you guys are. I think it's. I think it's very, very physical. Alexis says reselling is all physical. Sourcing, all physical. photos, so cleaning, steaming. Maybe choose a different occupation. If you be, like, I'm not great at drawing. I, I would not be very good if I applied to be, an uh, an artist. Like it would be terrible. So you got to pick something that matches your skills. Um, and I, reselling is quite physical for me. Hmm. Print on demand on Amazon, someone is saying. So I have a friend that makes $8,100 a month print on demand. He made designs every single day for four years. Now he makes six figures reselling. But how many people are willing to make designs for four years every single day to get to that point? Um, RX Vintage Treasure says he does it with an injury. Hmm. Um, so it can be done. And eventually you're going to get lucky and you're going to find... I'll show you guys some other money I found. You ready? Let's see. Yeah. So, yeah, this is some other money that I found in the jean pockets. It was amazing. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's see if there's any other things that sold. Your friend Johnny says that they found AirPod Pros in the AirPod Pros! Let's in go! The, in their work pants. Okay, so um, number four sold 24 and 24. I think we already showed four and 24. Yeah, we did. Um, you've had two knee replacements. Oh, wow. So you got to take care of your health. Number one for me is making sure I'm in the best shape that I can be in. That's my goal for the physical. Health, wealth, happiness. Anybody have any more? Health, wealth, happiness, spirituality, I guess. Would be top four for most people. Anybody else? Health, wealth, rich, sexy, <laughs> great friends and family, at peace. What do you think? What do you guys think? Rich, sexy, at peace, great friends and family. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, somebody else bought something. Number 80. Let's go. I think this is number 80. Number 80 is this Adidas sweatshirt, size medium. This is a great one. Very, very little fading, good color. It's a nice piece. Sweet. All right. You bought two? Oh, let's see. 50. I didn't <laughs> see it. Uh, who's in the house? Who's in the house? Everyone? <laughs> What is that in reference to? See, here's the thing. I really need help with context. <laughs> right. <laughs> I need help with context because with no context, I don't know how to answer your question. I don't know how to answer your question. All of us? That's a good one. All right, we're going to run some merch because you guys, let's see. Let's try number 1137. Let's After see. this, we're going to run a giveaway. Okay, guys, this is a Daily Refinement Crew Neck. It's brand new on the Hanes Eco Smart Tag because we're green here. <laughs> um, starting at a dollar, 
Size large, designed by Christine. You guys, that's yeah. her logo. Uh, I know, I am very dry and subtle. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. So guys, today's topic is we're figuring out how to run a full-time living. I consider a full-time living between one and $2,000 profit. I usually that's three to $5,000 gross. Everybody got that? Sell three to $5,000 worth of stuff, profit one to $2,000. Oh, oh, lot number two, I'll check it out. Let me see. Let me see. Oh yes, I got you. Thrift, I got you. I'll look it up. Per week. Sell so three to five thousand per week. Thank you, Alfredo. So number two is this Lululemon hoodie. Let's go. Nice. That's a nice pickup, right? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Thrift salon. What do you think? It's uh, I'm not sure if it's men's or women's. The size tag's been cut out. I think it's women's because of the uh, what do you guys think? Style kind of looks like men's. I know. But... Style kind of looks like men's. Men or women's, guys? What do you men's, guys think? Men's, women's. Looks unisex. Yeah, it doesn't like go in too, too much. People are saying the men's. girl says men. I wonder if I can wear this. It's probably too <laughs> small. Let's try it. What size it is it? Large? I don't know what size it is. Oh, oh I so see. So, what is the. Um, uh, is, there, is there another question I didn't answer? Uh, we have questions. Okay, let's go for questions. Um, oh, actually, regarding the like physicality of. Um, okay, probably a men's. What do you guys think? Men's. Z, I'm a size large. Go. There's no. There's no size dot. I looked. No size dot. Men's medium. All right. Yeah, that looks like men's medium. Um, here we go. The real comedian says. They disagree. You can be wheelchair bound and still sell jewelry and accessories. You can. No physical work. I'm just saying that <laughs> it's usually physical. Not okay. Obviously, if you sell um, NFTs on eBay, if you sell coins, if you smaller sell currency, things. smaller items, mm -hmm. you don't necessarily. But I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. You mm. can sell whatever you want. Again, my channel is not on the boss of you. You can unsubscribe at any time. There are plenty <laughs> of other channels. I'm doing my best though. Okay, we got a few other people. We've got um, number 45, Nikki Buys. Number 45 is plus size Lane Bryant. So, okay, this, this actually sells quite well for me. Any dark wash Lane Bryant, this is size 18 regular. Size 12 or higher sells quite quickly for me. So that's just me personally. Not everybody has that kind of success, but me, I like Lane Bryant size 12 and higher. Let me know in the chat if you guys agree or you don't agree. Um, we're going to run the giveaway now. Um, I probably do have Lululemon size 4 and 6 mixed in here. That's the most common, the most common size I thrift is size 4 thrifting for Lululemon. We're going to run the giveaway right now for this Red Hot Chili Pepper shirt. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Sunshine, 12,999. I love it. Why not Sunshine, 13,000? Sunshine, 12,999. I love it. Congrats. Red Hot Chili Pepper shirt. Nice pickup. Nice. We're going to pin the next one. So we have a question from Bargain Hunter. Let's do it. Um, when is the best time to run a sale of the lifetime? Black Friday or at, at another time? Um, 12, 11. I would say any time is the, it, it depends on your goal of what's the, like, do you need your money right now? Mm -hmm. Because the most people online is, um, is during Christmas time. Okay, we're giving away a, can you guys see it in here? It's a black crew neck. It's the next giveaway. Black crew neck. Okay, they sell to most. That's their audience. Okay, and then how soon do you want the money? Mm. So, uh, okay, you guys ready? How to price your items? You guys ready? I need to sell two more items before I drop this, this piece of heat. How to price your items. You need to sell two more in the buy now, one through 80. We'll, we'll reveal the mystery items on, on stream. We sell two more and I'll drop how to price items for you guys. I don't work for free. 
What question? <laughs> well, so it, it depends on whether they want the money now in terms of like when to oh, run when a, the, a big sale. Black okay, Friday. So or... I'll start my answer right now. So they say anytime, no rush for money. Essentially, what I would do is I would do a tier system because as your items age, they become worth less. Um, mm -hmm. So if you wait too long, then what these platforms will do is they'll suppress your listings because nobody's buying. Does that make sense, guys? If your item is old and no one has bought it, the algorithm is not going to keep giving you traffic because it's not converting. So you have to balance selling things fast enough so it doesn't get de uh, depressed. On eBay, after six months, you actually go in the stale category. Um, on whatnot, I would say, if you run an item two or three times and it's still not selling, you've already alienated a bunch of your audience because they're like, why are you selling stuff nobody wants? So you have to be careful. On whatnot, I think you only have a few seconds before you lose someone's attention. That's why I try to have as much stuff going on as possible so you guys stay. <laughs> Those alarms, everything is on purpose. So text host says 90 days on Depop. But also remember context, right? If you list an iPhone and it doesn't sell right away, Maybe you made a mistake. If you list a rare elephant made out of wood carved by Colonel Chestnut in 1949, that may take longer to sell because there's only two people looking for that. So it just depends. It depends. It depends uh, okay. on your items. So mm -hmm. number 29 sold. Twenty nine is Madewell jeans. These are nice. I like this design. What do you guys call it when the buttons are in the front? These are the nine inch mid rise skinny crop button flap. Well, the button flap, the button shows through. Sometimes the buttons are hidden. What about when they're exposed? Exposed. Exposed button flap. Okay, cool. <laughs> easy access is karma. It, it's. I don't know if it. I guess it's easier access. Um, no, okay, no, okay no. we saw the other one. So I'll tell you guys how I would price items in general mm -hmm. right after I show this one, which is number 18. Okay, which is this sweet Adidas hoodie. It says, game day or any day, I am sport. Oh, snap. <laughs> With the sleeve hit, it's a nice piece. Okay, here we go. So you want to price your items competitively because um, earlier this morning there was a um, vintage Woolrich in our morning call. It had a really cool flannel interior. So the interior was pink and blue, vintage 80s Woolrich, cool stuff. The first picture though, she had it buttoned up like this in the front. So you couldn't see the inside of the jacket, which in my opinion sells the jacket. The first picture should have been open so you could see the interior and the full jacket. So that item, she had a price of $79.99. So let me ask you guys, what do you price a Woolrich flannel, 80s, excellent condition, blue exterior, inside is um, pink and blue, beautiful women's jacket, what do you price it at? Um, excellent condition, also thick. So like a thick winter jacket. Um, beautiful jacket. You guys can find it on, on eBay now. You can look for it. Somebody buy it. So Joan is saying 125, 69, 45. Laura says 50. Dark Black says 40 to 50. 40 to 50. On eBay, on eBay. Jessica says 85 to 100. Yep. 99. Okay, so this is how I look at it. She had a price of 79.99. So you want to price it at where you're comfortable with. So let me ask you guys, does it matter what you paid for it? Mm. Does it matter what you paid for it, yes or no? <laughs> let me know in the chat. Absolutely not, it does not matter what we paid for. Um, how what you paid for it shouldn't affect how you price the item, in my opinion. You should have a standard way that you price your items. If you're me and you were moving volume, I price that jacket at $39.99 because I want to move it fast. And I might not even put best offer because if you look at comps, comps are like $60 to $100. Um, a couple of jackets sold for $20. A couple of jackets sold for $10 plus shipping because people were desperate. So the range is from $10 to $125 in the comps. 
I would price eject at $39.99, no best offer. Um, you could do $59.99 or best offer, but I think that I want to convert the traffic when they see it. Jacket's cool, $40, let's go. Uh, I don't really want to wait until, um, I don't want to wait forever for the items to sell. Um, so Union Debbie bought all three um, sets of the mid-tier jeans, which is my bread and butter. These are jeans that I sell for between $10 and $15 plus shipping on eBay. I just price them at $4. Union Debbie, I also put in a referral for you to get approved on whatnot. So it's not easy to get through, but Union Debbie has what whatnot is looking for second. What is whatnot looking for second, guys? And number one, what is whatnot looking for? Number one, and what is whatnot looking for number two? And she has number two. What do you guys think? What's number one, what's number two? Uh, we're gonna run the giveaway right now. It's the crew neck. Where did I put it? <laughs> this crew neck, guys. Black crew neck giveaway. It's Miguel! Nice. Okay, so number one, they're looking for a following, right? You bring traffic to the platform, they love you. Um, but even then, that's a pretty high bar because I have a decent sized social media following. I didn't get influencer until three or four days ago. So even my $100,000 follower is nothing to them. Okay, so what is it called? I'm chopped liver to them. It took, <laughs> took six months of really pushing to get approved as an influencer. It took six months. Number two is inventory. So Union Debbie has thousands of items that she has purchased for resale. She's got the inventory. She has experience selling. They're ready to go. So mm -hmm. that is what it is. Um, let's see, pin the next giveaway. Which will be, <laughs> wait, questions? Michael says, looks. That's what they're looking oh, for. Oh, looks. <laughs> yeah, looks are, looks are important, but as you guys know, I could run the item. Let's try one. Let's try one. Um, Girl says, entertainment and sales. So, okay, you guys, you guys help me out here. I have a golden bear jacket. It's 2XL. It's the Sound and the Fury, Holyfield versus Tyson. Oh, this nice. jacket is, it's made by Golden Bear, which is a fancy, um, a fancy brand locally in um, San Francisco, California. So it still has the name tag. It's brand new. This is, this is the, I forgot what this logo is. Somebody help me out. It's like the St. Ives, right? Mm -hmm. St. Ives so. logo. I think it's the St. Ives logo. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's size double XL. The, the tag is literally leather. Okay, so guys, what does this, what do you ask for this jacket? We're going to run it right now. Starting at a dollar. But what do you guys think, what do you guys, what would you guys ask for this jacket? It's brand new. Someone asked what a sleeve hit was, and that's an example of one, right? Yes, so we'll go over that in just one second. This is a Tyson Holyfield. Oh, Wax Clothing says, is it new or vintage? It's, it's new vintage. So dead so, stock. Dead stock, so it's brand new. Um, vintage dead stock, yeah. So let's, let's do this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go crazy. You guys ready? Um, I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna give one away right now on this stream. And then we're also gonna run one. You guys ready? I don't do $75, that's, that's BS. I started at $1. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't do, I don't play that game. Don says... Okay guys, real quick, before we run it, I'm gonna run it at a dollar. How old do you think this dollar. jacket is? The jacket is new, it's dead stock. There's one listed at 225. Don says he'd probably list it high and then accept offers. So it slides gold premium beer right here. 30 years old, 90s. Okay, y'all ready? We're gonna start this at $1. 15 seconds. Let's go, guys. Okay, so this is gonna be a good lesson on pricing because somebody's asking 225 for this jacket, right? Um, we have one right here. Someone can see the condition, it's brand new. Still has the tag on it. What does it sell for? My guess, 125? Oh, well, not. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. It's cool. It's a cool jacket. 
Mm-hmm. Size, Size 2XL. XL. Tyson Holyfield, Sound and the Fury. It's pretty awesome. Dead stock, brand new. See? Flippin says it would sell for $60 in, in his show, his or her show. Leather, yes, leather, $150. Rock's Clothing Company says what not $70, but then eBay $180. eBay $180. That's what they think. Although someone else found one that's on eBay that's $330. So let's try this. Who Unless wanted the jacket? Give me a thumbs up. You and Debbie won, but who wanted the jacket? What did it sell for? Sold for one fifty. One fifty. Okay. So I have five more. Five more or three more? I think three more of these jackets. I'm going to price it in the buy it now for $151 if anybody else has them. <laughs> but otherwise, you guys are going to see, this is interesting. So I just put it in the buy it now for $151 for three more because um, I think I got five jackets in this buyout. Just be, it just sold for $151, right? So the market has been set at $151 if somebody wants this retail to wear it. Um, but of course, the buzz is lower now. Does everybody get that? The buzz is lower because we just ran one. So hopefully this makes sense to people. Like, context is everything. What's the odds I sell one for more than 151? It's pretty low. No, it's not gambling. <laughs> gambling is different. Um, here, uh, you can't you can't gamble on whatnot. But what you can set up is um, you can set up things so people see what they get. But straight gambling is like selling entries. So if I said. Everyone give me a dollar right now. The 300 people are in there. One person gets 300. 299 people get zero. That's gambling. Straight mm -hmm. gambling. So there's some different rules. It's important for you guys to check it out. You saw somebody doing one, a blackjack on whatnot. That is inappropriate. Um, questions? Uh, yeah, actually. So Rachel says, if they're running a liquidation sale on their store, would yeah. you suggest turning best offer off on items that are already unbelievably low? No. I, I don't think best offer is necessary. I think way too many people price high with best offer. I think it's a waste of time. So price it super low and take off best offer? Yeah. Okay. Price it the lowest you will. If you're really desperate, price it as low as you want to go. Mm -hmm. And um, no best offer. Okay, the next giveaway, guys, we're going to pin right now. Uh, let me see real quick. Eleven twenty-eight. Um, can you guys see it? Is the is a pin? It's a black. It's a black hoodie. It's size extra large. Can you guys see it in the the pin post? Okay. We have um, another question. Yep. Yeah. From Shane, listing 10 items a day now for two weeks. I'm curious if you know if eBay cares if I list my 10 items all at once or should I list them every couple hours throughout the day? Is doesn't, there a difference? Doesn't matter. So just get your items up every single week. eBay is not waiting around for you to post it at 4 a.m. or 4 p.m. It makes mm -hmm. a zero difference. Wait, to, like think about context and how little that matters. Mm -hmm. Like um, don't try to time the market. Just put your items in the market. Hopefully that makes sense. Like, mm -hmm. Um, just list your items. Don't worry about what time of day. That's an, a waste of your energy. So I, since this class right now is about um, how to make a full-time living reselling, let's try and sell two more of my items here. This is the kind of stuff that um, I sell. So hop in the buy now, buy one of the items. The really expensive items have not been hit yet, one through 80. Um, so I'm going to show those items on the stream. But I have a plan for you guys. So we talked about um, something cool like happening to you in the next five years. Pay off your house, buy a house, uh, get married, have a bunch of kids. Your real estate income is bigger than your regular income. Maybe your goal is to make one or $2,000 a week profit reselling. So the plan is, once you have your goal, now the next thing is three habits. Oh, did 44 sell? Let me see. Um, I don't think 44 sold or show, uh, sold yet. I see number three. 
Do you buy it now instead of auction? Oh, you bought it? Where is 44? Oh, I, you're right. 44 is blue waves, I got you. Let's see. Oh, this is, this is a sweet jacket. Okay. This is a heavy denim jacket. It's the Ride Hard logo. And it has a cool skull on the back. This is a cool piece. Nice pickup. Um, yes, the code is 380? 380? 380? 480? 483. Okay, alright. Next one that sold was number three. Three is one of the bangers of the day. You guys know this brand. We need to sell three more right now because this brand is awesome. This brand is Alpha Industries. Look up the solds, guys. Alpha Industries, tell me, the, tell me the sold on eBay for Alpha Industries. This is a huge pickup. So, number three is a big win, nice pickup. It's way higher, oh, I mean, for this jacket, maybe 65, but I would say that the solds for this one are in the um, 400 plus on average. Um, I don't know, so the bundles, I'm not showing any items for, um, the only one that I'm gonna show is Union Debbie, I'm gonna show her items that she bought earlier because she bought all the all the the mid tier, the high tier and the mid tier are sold out. So guys, what sells faster, high tier, mid tier, or low tier? High, medium, or low? In quality. In quality, mm -hmm. what sells the fastest? So the low pairs of jeans I'm selling for two dollars a piece. Mid is four dollars a piece. High is seven dollars a piece. What sells the fastest? Laura says low. Wax clothing company says medium. High always sells the fastest. It's because that's easier. So higher end stuff's harder to find. It's easier to sell. You make less item per piece generally, but it sells faster. So personally, for me, I would love to sell all high end items under thirty dollars. Because <laughs> like high end used items is where I want to be. I don't want to be in high end new items. This is a lot of fraud. So I want to be in the high end everyday value. Everybody got it. High-end everyday value is the easiest category. That's what this is. High-end high end everyday value. Everyday value starts at $1 and stops at $30. $1 to $30. Yep. So that's, that's my good. opinion. Um, so Union Debbie picked up a few items. I appreciate you. So Union Debbie picked up number six. This is, this is Chris. <laughs> Yeah, are you guys here? Okay, I'm gonna have my I'm gonna have Connor come up and open the gate for you guys. Oh, you're already inside. Okay. Yes, um, I'm gonna have Connor walk out and help you guys. All right. They're in a big truck, clutter, and they're getting the stuff in the other unit. All right. Um, Filson is high end everyday value in my opinion. Super high end. Okay, so Debbie bought three, she bought six. Six is Madewell jeans. 17 is... This polo with the pony. What's this pony called, guys? The, the, the multicolored pony. Size XLT, so this is a really good size. Extra large and tall. Then, Union Debbie bought number seven. Oh, wait, that was seven, right? Oh, no, number seven is. So I'm not super familiar with this brand, but I think it does okay. Stio, S-T-I-O. This is inventory from yesterday, yep. With the little acorn logo. This is a puffer jacket. I think it has a high retail, too. Um, I forgot I can do polls on here. You can do polls. If you have a question to ask. And number nine, I am the real Murph dog. Murph face. I actually don't see this too often. The two color oh, yeah, that's hoodie. Nice. It's a nice piece. Nice pickup. Um, we have a question. Yep. 
I have jeans. I just recently listed around twenty dollars plus shipping. Yeah. When should I start doing a store coupon and at what percent off? Okay. I promote at five percent. So, um, this is going to be really unpopular, but we're making a video coming up called eBay Safe Mode. Okay, so in safe mode, it's where you learn how to sell. So in safe mode, you're not allowed to use promoted listings. You're not allowed to use markdowns. You're not allowed to use coupons. You're not allowed to use best offer. Because I think people don't know how to sell, so they keep asking me what rate, how long. It depends. It depends on what items you're selling and how long you've had them, what they are. You don't need to discount Gucci. It's going to sell. There's not enough Gucci on the website to, to mm -hmm. need to sell like it at a discount. So I'm going to release that video soon. So if you're asking questions like this, start with eBay safe mode. No promotions, no coupons, no best offer, nothing. Just the item at a price that it will sell. Mm -hmm. when, once you learn how to make an item sell without all the tips and tricks, then when you add the tips and tricks, it sells even faster. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, guys? All the tips and tricks are designed to help you sell items faster, not to get sales in the first place. Mm -hmm. Does that, mm -hmm. hopefully that makes sense, guys. You shouldn't use the gimmicks to sell the item, right? If you're selling a cup of coffee, you don't say, well, um, like you have to be good at selling coffee. You can't or the coffee itself has to be good. So it's a really big truck. Either you can move your car or your car. You can move my car. Um, Victor has my keys, and then yeah, it's better. Yeah, Victor, Victor, thank you. Um, no, all the brands we're showing, in my opinion, are the high end, everyday value. So you don't get in trouble with Vera. So it's not luxury. Luxury is like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Christian Dior, Givenchy. Is that pronounced right? Those brands I send to the real, real. Iro. Um, Chanel, brands that I might get in trouble, that goes to the real, real. Everyday brands, the ones here will not get you in trouble. That's where I'm recommending. Mm -hmm. um, Bethy says she's learned what best price to sell an item by using best offer with no auto decline. Um, I just recommend no best offer at all. It's really the pure, pure selling. Pure selling is no best offer. Um, okay. Number 10 is Union Debbie. Number 10 is Madewell Jeans Button Fly. They are the um, Stove Pipe 2019. Okay. Number 79. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I missed the super chat, Deborah. Oh. Thank you so much. She says, um, thanks, Chris, for all your time and information. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So this is the high-rise long denim shorts button fly for I am the real Murph dog, Madewell. That's number 79. Oh, also, I am the real Murph dog. They're also new. So new Madewell, nice pickup. Um, era by Era says number 11, which is... This Nike sweatshirt, size men's medium. Mm. Nice piece. All right. We have More a question. Uh -huh. so, um, oh, so before oh, that, Stacy yeah. is saying she won't even buy Michael Kors because there's a lot of fakes. I agree with that. Be very careful with fakes. I try to sell brands where people don't make fakes. Mm. Um, have you ever gone into video game reselling? How profitable do you think it is compared to reselling clothes? Uh, video game reselling is really profitable. It's just hard to find supply. I live where there are a lot of women's clothing. Some people live where there's a lot of um, um, video games. In my Goodwills, they don't have any video games. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. It depends on where you live. Also yeah. in the Bay Area, guys, how many pawn shops are in my area? I live in the East Bay, California. There's about 4 million people who live here. How many pawn shops do we have? Oakland has how many pawn shops, guys? <laughs> it's uh, one. We have one pawn shop. So let me know, guys. Where you live, are there a lot of... No, it doesn't. There's a lot of places that do um, check cashing that also have a little shop, but they don't really, con they don't really take anything. They don't really take anything. They're mostly looking for jewelry, coins. That's not really a pawn shop. That's just like... It's hard, it's hard to say. 
Your daughter lives in Oakland? Awesome. <laughs> Number 23, I am the real Murph dog. Twenty-three. You guys are you guys are hitting all around the good ones. Um, is this champion crew neck? Just a classic piece. Mm -hmm. Matt says, "Hi, Chris. Why does e eBay doesn't automatically provide return shipping label to the buyer for return? Instead, eBay asks the seller to buy his return label and download it." Sometimes there's a glitch and it does that. So mm -hmm. you can either buy a label on Pirate Ship and upload it. Um, they can provide their own label, or eBay will auto generate one. Just roll with the punches. Sometimes there's a glitch in the system and it doesn't work. Mm. Um, so the return label process sometimes is a bit clunky, but for the most part, it does a good job. So I'm going to run the giveaway right now for this uh, hoodie. I appreciate everybody. Um, let me know if you want me to run a hoodie, what size you want me to run it. I'll start it at a dollar. We're going to do a giveaway right now. And you can also buy them in the Buy Now. All of the things, all of the hoodies are in the Buy Now for free. Motive Head, please follow me on Instagram and YouTube. Appreciate it. Do I think offering returns makes a big difference? It makes a huge difference. No worries. Um, huge difference because people will trust you more if you offer returns. <laughs> Dark Black says, Chris reminds me of my cat when it gets the zoomies in a good way. <laughs> yeah, I like it. A cat with zoomies. <laughs> yeah. No offense taken. <laughs> Am I back on eBay? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I leave that up as a mystery. I leave that up as a mystery for you guys. Um, okay, let's see. Let's do another giveaway. Let's do... Mm. Okay, guys. What do you think... Um, Guys, help me look it up. What is Mrs. Monopoly, Ms. Monopoly selling for? This is the next giveaway. <laughs> Ms. Monopoly, new in box. Somebody look it up on eBay. What's this selling for? This is our next giveaway. Ms. Monopoly, $2. Sheesh. <laughs> that is cheap. I think that's a little below what it's selling for on eBay. Um, so this is the next giveaway, guys. Um, I'm sorry, what's the next question? Oh, Bargain Hunter was asking if you can have whatnot running on a computer. Yes, you can. You can run it on a computer, and we'll eventually we'll set it up so it's a pro setup with computer. <laughs> can lights, you live stream from it? Yeah, from you can. computer? Oh, yeah. okay. So we can go from computer, we can go all of the things that make right. it nice. Um, how many pieces in the buy now items? Most of them are just one. So we're going to go through them now. We had a few cells. We have. Um, Our first one says maybe nineteen ninety nine for the Ms. Monopoly. <laughs> well, you guys can. Good thing you can use the soles and just look it up. Mm -hmm. Number fifteen is AG jeans, the Abbey ankle for the real Murph dog. Are you putting them in order? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, number twenty five. is Beta Brand, size medium. Beta Brand sells really well. That's a nice pickup. Hmm. Right now he's showing um, the items that are selling on the WhatNot stream right now. In the so, Buy It Now. Next is number 50 for Pentimento. Number 50 is Champion Crew Neck, Reverse Weave. Number 21 is, this might be a good one. <laughs> this is a funny shirt. Looney Tunes all over print. <laughs> um, did number one sell? Let me see. Number one did sell. Let me see if I showed it. I did not. Number one is this crazy leather jacket. field sheer jacket. It's like really heavy, real leather jacket. This is, it's got crazy elbow pads. These are awesome. Nice. Nice pickup. Um, 
Let's see. Where are we at next? Let's see. They're all pre-numbered, and if it's not pre-numbered, it's against uh, whatnot rules. You have to show people what they get. Mm -hmm. um, 21 was the Looney Tunes shirt. 47 is... Another Champions Crew Neck. The Champion Crew Necks will be the lowest um, things that we have. 26, Alicia. We've got... Patagonia! Nice pickup. That's a nice one. <laughs> so this is men's size medium. That's a good piece. So guys, um, do you guys know why I pick up Champion? Even though it's not as high, it's not as high. I'll just tell you. <laughs> I pick up Champion because it sells well at a lower price point. So I'm not just buying items. I'm not just buying items that um, are high price points because I need items to sell fast. So for Champion, it's easy. It sells fast. It's not going to sell for a lot, but it'll move quickly. I know, right? Um, okay, we have number four, 14 and number 20. And I know the blue puffer is awesome. 14 and 20. <laughs> 14 is this North Face jacket. This is a really nice one. Nice come up. This North Face jacket is the old school logo. So guys, the O is not dark. So what does it mean when the O is dark? This is a really nice piece. Uh, the North Face. Hit on the sleeve means there's something on the sleeve. You guys are right. It means outlet. The numbers are all requests. Yes. Two board girls bought number 20. That's a, that's a hit. Nice come up. North Face Purple. That's a nice one. So the Denali jacket, it is... Oh my God. Two board girls, you hit a really good one. This is a vintage North Face jacket made in the USA. I believe it's a men's large. Let me just see. This is one of my favorite North Face colors, the purple. That's a nice piece. Sheesh. That's a nice one. I like it. Nice pickup. So the um, average, average value of the items is $30 today, um, but the, the ceiling is between 10 and 100. Um, do I buy on whatnot? I do. Um, my employees don't buy under, only I'm the one buying it. And I usually, um, I spent about 25000 on whatnot, on different stuff. Okay. I have a question. Yep. Hey, Chris, how would you personally build a sports card slash trading card eBay store, specifically low-end cards? Oh, my God. I can't believe you just asked that. <laughs> We're going to do that. Um, mm. I have, oh, number 23, 53 is cool. It's a, uh, is this Henley? What's it called with the buttons in the front? This is a, a Carhartt size large pocket shirt. What's it called with this Henley, right? Um, it's really, it's nice, classic. Um, so okay, so for the card business, yeah. can you guys see the cards? That if you can see them in, the, in actually can they? <laughs> can you guys see the cards right there? On top of this shelf right here, I'm getting ready to do a card break and how I propose, how I plan on doing it. Um, so my plan is to go, um, my plan is to go um, a few different methods. I'm either going to go um, ripping cards straight from the boxes, so ripping them all, grading the ones that are going to be the best, and getting rid of the bulk in, 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 a, in a strategic way. So ripping them myself, I'm going to also buy a bunch of cards I feel like are undervalued. And then I'm also going to... I forgot the third one. There's three strategies that I'm going to use in the card game, and I'm going to do it just for fun. Um, just to see if I can really optimize it, see how much money I can make per hour. My guess is that um, low-end sports cards is between... Oh, I'm going to stream it. I'm going to, break, I'm going to break it online, I'm going to break it myself and grade it, and I'm going to buy undervalued cards. That's another thing that you guys could do if you are... Um, disabled or have a physical limitation, you could sell cards. Cards is not as physical mm -hmm. as clothing. Um, Are there strategies for eBay that you would recommend? Um, yeah, you just, 
those are the three things I saw mm -hmm. doing doing well: vintage, breaks, full boxes, full hobby boxes. boxes. Mm -hmm. So for for cards, vintage bulk, and mm -hmm. lots, sealed product. That stuff all does really well. Most of my inventory comes from the flea market. Um, that's what your son does: cards and comics. Um, let's try to get to 225 inch. Oh, let's actually let's sell two more items and we'll run another giveaway. Two. Let's see. Yeah, two more items is good. Um, let's see. We've got. Did we do 53? I think we did. Let me see. 53. We did. 69. Of course, you would pick 69. Okay, so I like to pick up vintage flannel because I think it's cool. This is Cascade, size large men's. And I just personally think uh, vintage flannel is awesome. So I pick up all of it. Um, and this is one of those things that doesn't sell super fast, but it will sell and it looks good. And it could be a shacket because it's super duper warm. So that's a nice pickup. 59. Fifty nine is the fishing brand Sims, also flannel. This one is more like a shacket than the previous one. Um, this one is much thicker. This one is is lined with um, what is that? This one is lined and it's way heavier. It's way is heavier. Like a shirt jacket? Is that what you're saying? It, they're saying shacket. Shacket. But it's like a much thicker interior than a normal flannel. Thermal. That's right. Thermal. <laughs> This Sims shacket has a thermal <laughs> interior. Nice pickup. Okay. Remember YouTube, you can leave questions and I will try to pop them on the screen. Is, oh my goodness, who's 42? Boss, you picked up a pair of mother jeans. Let's go. Mother is like really high end. Um, it sells really well. Mother jeans are awesome. Flannel shirt jacket, okay. <laughs> 28 mother jeans. Nice pickup. That's a nice pickup. Good job. Um, we got 34 and 78. Oof, this is nice. Look at this. Eddie Bauer. This is sort of a trench coat. It's really long. Men's extra large. This is amazing. Uh, I might have skipped number four. Let me see. Did somebody buy number four? Yeah, this is a nice one. It's too big for me, but this is a sweet jacket. <laughs> it's nice. Nice pickup. The number of the Eddie Bauer jacket is... What's the number? Can you guys see? 34. 34 on the Eddie Bauer. <laughs> nice pickup. Okay. We have a question. Yep. Uh, an older question, actually, from Wax Clothing Company. Yep. Getting to the next level of reselling from, let's say, $1,000 a week to $3,500 a week, is it more about quality listings than volume listings? It's both. Both, it's so more volume. Yes, a crop top. Um, the answer is always quality, and then... Quality, quantity. Everybody, or, Wait, quality and then? Quality, quantity. Quality plus quantity. Quality times quantity. Times quantity, okay. So yeah, quality <laughs> first and quality, quality quantity. Um, let me see, the number four cell, let me see if it did. It did, so pastime pursuit, are you here? Oh, no I, no, I did show number four already. Let me see number five. Um, RJ says, which Lululemon size sells the best? Um, from, from my experience, Lululemon size four sells really well, mm. and Lululemon size 10 sells really well. Mm. You, guys, you guys should um, get an idea. So Frost bought number five. Frost, are you here? This is, this is maybe one of the top bangers of the entire um, thing. 
This is a vintage Ralph Lauren size 3 XLT down vest. This is wow. a crazy piece. 3 XL. Sheesh. It's really good. It's down. It's really nice. Yeah. It's a really nice piece. Plus an excellent size. Nice pickup. That's a good one. Frost, are you here? That's a really, really good pickup. That's a nice one. Okay. Um, 58, 52, 62. 52 is this Marmot jacket. Marmot's a really good resale brand. Wait, are you guys liking this stream? Because it's like a mix between a Q&A and a haul video. <laughs> yeah, that's what true. Think? It's what you thrift, basically. What do you think? Also, um, this stuff I got yesterday at the flea market. So yesterday at the flea market, it's shipping today. So that's the, that's the turn away, turn around. And yes, also um, with giveaways. Okay, so number 50. One. What is this? 61 is... Is this corduroy? Or knitted? Or hmm, interesting texture. Yeah, these are crazy. So this is Levi's size... What is this called, guys? It's like corduroy, but it's also knit. Yeah, it's like a textured corduroy. Wall away? Levi's 513. 36 by 34. These are these are crazy looking. Can you guys see that on YouTube? They can see it on whatnot. This is the same. Oh, I think we're frozen. Knit corduroy. Are we frozen? Yeah, it's a really good one. You guys can see. Uh, what number is that, Connor? What number is that? Uh, that was 61. 61. Okay, number 55 is next. We're frozen, so hold on one moment. Okay, we should be back. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Yes, this is an Orvis. It's not flannel, but um, it's a nice piece. Size medium. There we go. That's a sweet Orvis shirt. I love it. We're going to run the giveaway now real quick. Uh, actually, new shirt with one more, and then I'll run the next one. 71. We haven't hit all the bangers yet. There's still a lot of good ones. 71 is Citizens of Humanity. That is for era by era. It's falling off. Uh, we're going to run the giveaway real quick. The giveaway is Mrs. Monopoly. <laughs> let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, the genes were citizens of humanity. Karma 415, you asked the question, you also won Monopoly. <laughs> Snap. That was a nice pickup. Nice one. So what I recommend is that you reinvest the Monopoly money into buying from me in the store again. <laughs> I'm, I'm biased though. Um, okay. Guys, somebody help me out. The, the magic keyboard on... On eBay, what's it sell for? I don't know if I should. This is probably magic the wrong keyboard. <laughs> I'm assuming it's wireless. What's the magic keyboard sell for on eBay? I'm gonna put it in the buy now. Um, Sarah says ninety nine dollars. Okay.
I'm going to put in the buy now for, for $70 if people want to get it. I have four of them. Um, you will not make money reselling it, but it's a really good deal. Yeah, Bluetooth keyboard? Bluetooth keyboard. Mm. Bluetooth keyboard with the number pad. So it's nice. a good deal. It's a good deal. Yeah, it depends like the on the model pad. number. The model number is A1843. Uh -huh. I'll add that in. Mm. A1843, they're new. I have four of them. Mm -hmm. Seal. Oh, the color is actually space gray. Looks black to me, but. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Question. Um, yeah. Question. The artist says If someone is part of the Facebook group, when will you start having a group of people that will come to learn in your store side by side? Thanks for being awesome. We're going to set that up right away. So the first week of November, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to start allowing people to come here and learn. So first week in November, um, you can bring stuff. And I'm, I'm thinking that um, I might charge people items. So if you want to come here and learn how to do it, we get to keep your items that you bring. I don't know if that's fair, but <laughs> I was thinking of a, how do I, it's not, it's not really worth it to have people come here and mess up our flow, but I want to offer it. I want to offer it um, for people in the group. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Let's see. Let me just adjust this real quick. So this is going to be another piece of merch. Number 1126. 11.26. So I'm going to pin this giveaway. The next giveaway is this blue sweatshirt. Um, and we're going to run 1129. Hmm. All right, guys, starting at $1, this white hoodie, size extra large, daily refinement, graphic design by Christine, awesome hoodie, size extra large, cotton polyester blend, on the Hanes Eco Smart Tag, let's go. Um, so guys, is this useful? Because you guys are watching me sell and I'm trying to answer questions. Uh, wait, what kind of cat am I? Uh, the type that has zoomies. Right? Oh, zoomies, I'm like a zoomies <laughs> cat. I like it. I like it. So we're gonna do this every single Monday with the stuff that I thrift on Sunday. Nice pickup, Steve Breeson. Okay. There's a comment. I wonder if you have um, an opinion yep. about it. Material Girl says, I can't sell my lower end jeans for anything, but I can sell my high end jeans. Just sold a pair of Mother for 150 Yeah, that's been my experience as well. Mm -hmm. Higher end sells faster, mid sells slower, low sells the slowest. So you have to have a big, 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 big store of low items. So to give you an example, mm -hmm. some of the people in our group have stores of 6,000, 8,000, 10,000 items just to sell 20 or 30 a day low-end items. Hmm. It's just sort of the reality of the low-end item. Not a lot of people are looking for low-end items. People like high-end items for cheap. That's like the, most people want something for nothing. That's like America 101, something for nothing. I wish I was born in the money. That's like people's number one. Like I see that on all these surveys. What do you want most? Or what do you wish? I wish I was born in the money. That's like half of people want that. They want that, so <laughs> it is what it is. Buy low, sell high. I think buy low, sell mid high. Let's see if anybody else bought any more items. Let's see, 64, 28, let's see. 28 is a really nice piece, North Face. 28 was um, H.R. Kennedy, nice pickup. North Face double extra large soft shell jacket. This is a good one, um, nice pickup. Thrifty Mommy, <laughs> bought number 77, which is, I think it's a banger. Oh yeah, the vintage North Face 
down jacket. Nice. Thrifty, are you here? That's a great pickup. Yeah, that's really nice. Thrifty Mommy CLA. Nice pickup. So even though this is from the outlet, right? You guys can see the darker O, right? Everyone catch that? Mm. Uh -huh. um, even though this is from the outlet, I would still ask at least 100. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Great coat. Nice piece. Um, it's in the store. You got to scroll to the bottom to find the, the, the random items that we're selling. Um, this is a really good find. Really good one. So, um, as you guys know, Tech actually prefers these jackets because nobody produces fake outlet North Face. They produce fake real North Face. So, it's kind of interesting. Mm. Okay, next is number 64, K Heather. Another North Face graphic. So guys, would you guys consider North Face high-end? I don't consider it high-end, but it's stuff that moves quickly, priced well. That's me personally. Um, I consider it maybe mid, but mm. it's like the majority of my stuff. I try to find as much North Face as possible. There's a comment, Lucia. If I price exactly how much I want on eBay and turn off best offer, I feel like people will not buy it thinking something's wrong with it. I don't Can have that comment? experience. I no. feel like um, if you price items above market, you'll have that problem. But um, mm. in my opinion, if you like your opinion of market price might be different with, than the actual market price. This is Lacoste size six. Mm. I think people will think something is wrong with it if it's priced below market. Or like Lacoste too far size below. six is K Heather. Nice pickup. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is um, Shana Ray. Shana Ray. Nice pickup. Uh, okay. So we've got... We have another question, if you have yep. time. Go ahead. Mindy says, Chris, I live in the Central Valley of California and struggle greatly with sourcing items for whatnot. Any suggestions? There are five Goodwill bins between you and Sacramento. So you got to just hustle. There's no easy way to do it. No one in California is allowed to complain about sourcing. I think that I'm pretty sure Southern California makes is the fifth most rich country in the world. <laughs> country? <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow. That is, California would be the fifth largest economy in the world. Yeah. And uh, most of the money is in SoCal. So, like, if you live in Montana, okay, maybe Montana is not super rich, but you can't live in the central. You're so close. You're close to my five Goodwill bins, and then there's also the lower end. Um, <laughs> There's, there's both. Mm, both directions. There's both directions. You have to drive a little so bit. Right in but... the middle. <laughs> so wait, um, summer, summer in Montana. That's a good screen name. Um, <laughs> can you, do you have trouble finding stuff? Montana, maybe it's more difficult to find things, but mm. we reviewed that store. This lady, or this lady in Montana had a gorgeous store, and she took pictures outside with the mountains in the background. It was like epic. That store was so cool. So um, I feel like you can find good stuff. Um, let's see, we have around. She says though that the closest Goodwill outlet to her is a five hour round trip. That's okay. That's, just, that's part of the game. So maybe you'd have like a so one sourcing day kind of thing. You for, go out. For me, it's a, for me, the closest Goodwill is a two hour round trip. Round and trip. it just doesn't yeah. matter. Like the amount, like, it matters, but it doesn't matter if it's part of your job. Some people drive two hours each way to work. Mm. It depends on what your goals are. Like, if you want to make reselling your thing and you live two hours each way from somewhere, that's just part of the gig. It's a commute, basically. The commute is work. just part of it. You don't have to go every day. You can go twice a week. You can go once a week. Um, it's just part of the reality. Or maybe try online. You, you can't complain sourcing. in California. <laughs> also, most of the government auctions are in the middle of the state. So, like... If you go to govauctions. Somebody please buy something for this piece of advice. <laughs> Govdeals.org. Govdeals.gov. Govdeals.com. Whatever the government's <laughs> website is, mm. all the auctions are like in the middle. So. Mm. Um, so is that something that you can auction or you buy online and then you go pick up or yeah, what? Yeah, you can buy it online and then go pick it up. Ah, okay. Some Summer's options there. Summer's 422. Oh, wait, hold on. I think another one sold. Um... Did I do 63? Let me see if I did 
63 is a responsibility. <laughs> Patagonia, the buffalo. Size extra large. That's a great tea. Nice piece. Um, we have a question from Steven. Yep. What do you feel the ratio of whatnot customers that buy from you are resellers or end users wearing the actual product? I'd say 50 50. Mm. So, right now, me being honest, I don't think there's a lot of meat on the bone of these. You guys are learning what items that I sell, but there's not a lot of meat on the bone. I'm selling for like 60% of what they would sell for. So, there's really not a lot of meat on the bone here. Number 54 is Everlane. Um, I am charging a service fee here for showing you guys what to sell. I'm charging a premium, plus the reseller celebrity tax. <laughs> right. um, Harry Tornado. Harry Tornado hits hard. He hits you way harder than I do with the <laughs> tax. Yeah. If you have a, like, okay, celebrity tax. first off, if you don't run that many shows, then your tax is higher. Does anybody mm. know why? It's why right. are your prices higher if you don't run shows as often? Anyone? Scarcity! Mm -hmm. Text host. I'm going to give you a hoodie. <laughs> Let me put that. That's a really good one. Text host. I'm going to put, uh, unless you don't want it and you, you don't want my merch, but um, I need a label from you. I just put a, um, a label on the buy now for a dollar for text host. If you want to buy it, you can pick whatever size merch you want and I'll send you something. Because that is the best answer ever. Scarcity is the key. Mm -hmm. Do you guys understand how scarcity affects the price? Textiles, what size are you? <laughs> um, yes, no? Um, the patches were sold out. Extra small to small. I know, we should get more of the patches. We'll get more patches. Let's the see. patches sold out in like a day. Yeah, the patches sold out really quick. Um, What was that website that you were saying? Government auction kind Go, of thing? GovDeals. GovDeals. Let me look it up okay. for you. Textiles, are you cool with this crew neck, size small? Yeah, Gov looks deals. like it's GovDeals.com. Mindy. Because that was like the best answer ever. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> I love it. Um, we need to write text. Uh, will you write the word text? On this. Deals. Yeah. In marker. Dot com. That one. Okay. Um, 54. I think we went over this one. That's like T E X D. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we showed 54. Okay, so we just have like 25 pieces left to show you guys. You love 30 minute shows from the big guys. Yeah. That's true. Those are the big guys. Raleigh Roots and Harry Tornado, they run shows like thousand people in the chat. I'm not at that level. That, I'm not at that level, but oh, where are we? I'm not scarce. I'm like always available. <laughs> we run streams constantly. I'm not, I'm not scarce. I feel like if I showed up once a month, there might be more people on the stream, but I want to show up every Monday for you guys. Um, 11.28, where is that one? Did we already run it? I think it's a white, it's a hoodie. Where did 11.28 go? Change it to 11, I'm gonna change it to 11.26. Okay, you guys ready for the, um, guys, let me know what size you are in the chat and I will run this giveaway right now. You found it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's over oh. there though, so that means it's sold. Oh no, that's oh. for that person. Yeah. We're good. Thank you. Okay. You guys ready? Let me know what size you are. We're going to run this. Let's go. 1126 crew neck right here. Blue crew neck. I gotta hide it. Um, trying to hide the stuff that we have remaining. Yes, men. 
I haven't seen you chat really. Are you here? Yes, man. Oh, size large. Um, you can't choose if you. Let's see. Let me see if I can change it. They're in the buy it now, though, right? They're in the buy it now. So if you you want if you want one that is your size. You I have to give you this one because I already set it up and they're in order. So I apologize, but um, mm -hmm. you're gonna get this crew neck for free. We're mm -hmm. putting the next one right now. Um, if you guys want to join the giveaways for merch or buy the merch or anything, yes, go no, to his about international thrifting. The international thrifting is a little whatnot. bit different. Um, it's run a little bit more like the mafia. Certain, more companies have more control. So, but every single country has waste, especially in, in more affluent areas. Um, the United States, for the most part, is affluent all the way across. That's why um, there's so many people um, as garbage collect. What do they call us? Trash elves. Are you guys <laughs> uh, are you guys offended by this term? Trash elves, scavenger life. Shout out anyone anyone know what I'm talking about? Um, if somebody were to ask you what you do and you say you're a trash elf, solid or not or like, because that's what scavenger life used to call it. We're trash elves. Cajun says hell no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we are though. <laughs> we find trash. Okay, number 76 sold. We only have a few left. Ooh. U-Pen. Nice. Made in Mexico champion. Spell out. So let me tell you guys what's left. We've got um, lots of North Face left. We've got Patagonia left. We have True Religion. We have some flannels. We have J-Brand. We've got some jeans. Um... We've got at least one Lululemon left. We've got Madewell, multiple Patagonia, Champion, Free People, North Face, a sweet Hawaiian shirt, Nike, Carhartt. Wait, maybe I want to keep this. <laughs> Wait. This one is sweet. Let me see if I want to keep this or not. I like this. This is Carhartt. Oh, yeah, I like the um, sleeve hit. Oh, the Carhartt sleeve hit. Mm -hmm. oh, that's nice. <laughs> what do you guys think? Carhartt size large? No, I'm good. Number 43. I think it's still available. Somebody wants it. <laughs> if anyone wants it. I don't want it. It's nice. It's nice. I'll wear it for the rest of the stream. <laughs> but it's all good. 43 if somebody wants it. I, I have enough stuff. Guys, have you seen this place? <laughs> we have, have lots of stuff. Um, we have a question from earlier from Melanie. Yeah. Pink Alicious, nice pickup. Um, how do you find the best market value to list your items, your item as if you are selling only on Poshmark? Um, I would just look at eBay to, to develop your your um, your souls. Mm. So still look at eBay. Yeah, for the solds. Thirty six is this Tritone Columbia. What's this print called? With this oh, that's period? cool. It's cool. Um, it's thicker. It's made in Mexico. It's a nice hoodie. Color it's block. 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 Color block. That's right. Yeah. Thanks, guys. But it's cool because it's like actually lined or seams. There's seams between the colors. Yeah, there's actually seams. So it's a different yeah. piece of fabric. The car heart is number 43. And, and, it's so um, pretty. Somebody That's my it. style. <laughs> okay, 36, 38. Uh, let's see. Christine says, do you have a video or information on writing off damaged items that you have purchased? So, yes, I do. Number 31 is the North Face. This is a really heavy... Um, sweater, sweater jacket. This is a really nice oh, piece, nice, really yeah. thick, very warm. Um, so I use cash accounting, so I can't write off damaged goods. I actually take, um, I take the cost of goods deduction when I buy the item. So you can't double dip for me. Mm -hmm. If you do accrual accounting and you only account for the cost of goods when you sell the item, then you can write it off and talk to your CPA, but usually they, they give you like what Goodwill would sell, sell for. So it depends on what, you, what you're selling it for, but um, okay. You can buy them in the buy now. We're almost sold out. 
Um, 31, 33. 33. <clears throat> Lucia, if you want to request a store review, you can email Chris at chris.dailyrefinery.com. And please give me context. I need to know what you want me to review. They want improvement on their titles. Okay. Made well for number 33. This is the um, high-rise skinny crop size 20. But mention that in the email. Because the email. <laughs> you'll forget. Hello. So mention that you want um, improvement on your titles. And then you can look at it. So chris at dailyrefinement.com. The car heart was nice at number 43. You know who you are. Let's see. Okay. Um, we'll try to get back over 200 for the giveaway next. 33. Oh, Pinkalicious is number 43. Guys, don't, don't make me play deal or no deal, but there's actually a lot of Patagonia left. So <laughs> Patagonia would be a win. Um, if you bought an order yesterday, it's already shipped. All items usually ship same day. Mm -hmm. Oh, the merch is in the auction. So let me know. Let's run some merch. Mm -hmm. Let's run a large crew neck. 1135. We'll start at $1. Black. What time is it? Um, 11.55. OK. I got to start a call in five minutes. <laughs> Hey, Victor, can you go 1230? Yeah. Okay. Um, size large crew neck designed by Christine. With the patch. With the patch. Eco smart size large. It's an awesome piece. Auction is happening right now on whatnot. I do have 2XL merch. I'll run one next. 2XL. Guys, don't, don't make me raise the price. There's really good stuff in here that's... Um, that's Patagonia or better. I don't think we have any 3X, but we have 2X. Mm -hmm. um, we have a question from Jers. Yep. Relatively new to reselling and only sell slash ship domestically. What's your take on selling and shipping internationally, be it through eBay's international program or not? Okay. I would use eBay's program. Guys. Global shipping program. Are there more customers in the U.S. or outside the U.S. on eBay? Inside or outside the U.S.? Chat? <laughs> Chat? Don says outside. Jake says inside. Bargain says out. Ryan says out. <laughs> it's outside, guys. Outside. Yeah, outside. outside. There's more people... Um, more customers outside, so you definitely want to use the program. <laughs> so definitely use the program. Global shipping program. Am I out of 2x? Dang, let me see. Oh, here we go. So number 1140. We're going to run a 2x hoodie right now. They run true to size. Starting at $1. I got to start the toy call. This is a white hoodie with the Make Progress Daily logo by Christine in it. It's really nice, 2XL. Apparently people want 2XL, so we'll order more 2XL next time. Cat with the zoomies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> era by era, thank you. You should make that. CB says, what is the worst brand to resell? Any brand that's priced too high is the worst brand. So any brand matter. that you have, if you price it too high, it's... I sold the worst. Kirkland tank top for $7.99. <laughs> Guys, there is no brand that's bad. It just doesn't sell for a lot. And I killed it. <laughs> I'm super proud of selling $7.99. Okay, let me give you an even better example. <laughs> Hold on, he's starting a call right now okay. for Patreon. What's up, Mike? <laughs> so guys, those of you that sell toys, on Mondays at noon, we have a toy-specific call. Um, and you guys can see there are 26 people on the Zoom right now that are going to talk about toys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just started a call for him. We have 14 category specific calls. What was the last question? Uh, what's the worst brand? Oh, the worst brand. So, guys, 
I sold, get this, a Louisiana Powerball <laughs> shirt. Horrible. <laughs> okay? No, lo no tag. Louisiana Powerball, which is stupid. This is a shirt that they give the people who, uh, I don't even know why they would sell this shirt. Louisiana, Power, Louisiana Powerball. I sold it for $6. That is all the money. <laughs> that is full price. So let me tell you guys how I sold it for that. What not did this promotion? Yo, number 38, I got you. Um, and they had like a thousand people in my chat and I got, sold it for $6. That's how hard it is to sell that. A thousand <laughs> people ready to buy? <laughs> Only six bucks. It's horrible. Literally so bad. Like it'd be hard to sell that shirt for a dollar. Okay, so number 38, let's go. Number 38 is a nice pickup. North Face, fleece, men's size medium. Nice. Nice pickup. The price is going to start going up, guys, because <laughs> we haven't hit the Patagonia yet. And there's, there's lots of Patagonia. 32 might be one. Ryan says, if you couldn't sell clothes, what would be the next best thing? I didn't even know this is Patagonia. So 32 is Patagonia. Oh, nice. Um, rain jacket. It's a nice piece. Patagonia rain jacket. If I couldn't sell clothing, I'd probably sell cards. Mm. Women's medium. Nice piece. I would sell cards. Okay. Um, and if not, I would sell um, antique Armoires. Is that how you pronounce that? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. The vintage stuff, I just don't live in a place that has a reasonable amount for space. I live yeah. in an expensive place, so maybe I would sell watches. Uh, maybe mm. I would sell um, jewelry. I like jewelry. I really like rose gold. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? When I make it one day, I want to buy a rose gold Rolex. <laughs> that's what I was just thinking. Nice. Um, all right. That's one of your goals. That's one of my goals. Oh, wait, you were it. talking about goals. And then oh, that you, would be were, cool. you that would kind be of cool. didn't. That would be cool. Rose gold, rose gold Rolex. Yeah. So I think it's skin tone, right? Because I wouldn't have expected to buy rose gold. Um, mm -hmm. I just went there. TF said I already made it. I feel like I, I kind of have made it. <laughs> um, but maybe I made it, but there's still room to go. Okay, so we've got. 37 is thirty seven is free people jeans. Size so twenty five. Nice. Um, we have another question okay. from Jake. Would you resell stuff that you would you might make a dollar on net profit, but will take up your time or just redonate it? It depends on how desperate I am. Mm. In the beginning, I will take it uh, because um, in the beginning, you want to take all deals and to build up that velocity. Mm. In the beginning, I sold a few items for less than a dollar profit, but they sold right away. Like the book, um, all my baby books sold for less than one dollar profit. These are the baby books we used. Happiest Baby on the Block, awesome. Baby Wise, awesome. Bringing Up Baby, <laughs> awesome. Uh, Mayo Clinic, awesome. All four of those books sold for less than $1 profit. Way too many of them in the market, mm -hmm. but they sell hundreds of times a day. Mm -hmm. They sell hundreds of times a day. So I'm okay taking that couple of dollars worth of stuff, and it's just awesome. Yes, Patek Philippe is more desirable, but that's, I don't know, I still, I still want a Rolls, Rolls Gold um, Rolex. So Spanx <laughs> is number 68. Nice pickup for Vora. Spanx, size large. That's a really good pickup. These are very expensive. If you need a second rack, um, I'll switch this one to the side. Got it. Number 70 is Bernie. Let's see. Ooh. This is the two tone champion with like the sort of a camo kangaroo pocket and interior on the hoodie. Mm. So, nice. with the sleeve hit. Um, Musa says, "Hey Chris, if you sourced at the bins, what is the minimum profit margin you would look uh, would you look for?" I do source at the bins, and I'm looking for, on average, around seven dollars profit. Mm. Uh, let's see. Let's go number. Yeah. 
Okay, I do have another 2XL I'm going to run in just a second. We're going to give away 11. Okay. This is the next giveaway, guys. It's a crew neck. Okay, so back to our sales. We have... Wow, we're almost sold out. We've got six. Is there more questions? Yes. Um, Jake says, do you think people get offended when you counter offer? It seems like. No, no, they don't care. No when... one gets offended. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> number, I think this is really expensive. Number 73, Ilsa Jacobson. This is a really heavy um, wind, like a raincoat. It's fleece lined. I bet this is expensive. Um, what was the last question again? Whether they get offended when oh, you yeah. counter offer. Oh yeah, so essentially just keep your emotions out of it. The person who's more emotional loses. So just counter offer. So you're asking $30 for an item, somebody lowballs you for 14. That's not really a lowball. Just counter offer 23 bucks, call it a day. Mm -hmm. Um, 41, 39. 41 is another Patagonia. Nice pickup. Who is 41? 41 is one's man, one man treasures. Nice pickup. Thirty nine is this really funky Hawaiian shirt. Okay, guys. So <laughs> this is not my size, but it's pretty awesome. You got Santa Claus on the beach. What do you guys think? I think this is a nice print. Uh, we're frozen again. Can somebody let them, or do they have a code? Okay, and we're back. Uh, we, hopefully <laughs> they can get out. Um, okay, 57. Fifty seven is J Brand Jeans. J mm -hmm. Brand is a logo. Okay, so guys, real quick, what do you think the goal is for today's stream, dollar wise? What's the goal for the stream? Ooh, I like this a lot. This flannel is really nice. Um, vintage flannel, full cut, men's medium. I like to pick up. Um, I like to pick up flannel. <laughs> Jerry said the goal is zero. A little higher than zero. <laughs> um, that's a nice pickup. The goal today, I think, is around four thousand for this stream, and then we've got three more streams. Oh yeah, the, the goal for today, educating is a good one. There is education too, because I want to show you guys how to do, um, how to make a full-time living reselling. So essentially, um, what I'm trying to do is flip my inventory over fast, since we're on whatnot and items don't sell for as much as, as um, eBay. So um, quantity, quality. Um, 57, 57. I think it showed all of them. A uh, question from Ryan. What do you think about reselling electronics or printers, VCR and DVD players, specifically if you want to get into repairing them as a hobby? I don't like that niche because sometimes people will return stuff that's broken. So we got a 2XL hoodie, size double XL in the charcoal gray with the daily refinement logo on it. Nice. Uh, actually, it says medium. I'm sorry. No, it's 2XL. It's 2XL. It says medium, but it's 2XL. Hmm. Um, 2XL guys. Um, if you're going to sell VCRs and repair them, it's okay. The problem is people, there's a lot of return fraud. So people will return a broken one and take your good one. Um, so just expect higher returns. You can find vintage electronics everywhere though. So you won't have a problem with supply. So organic ethos, thank you. 
Um, there's not a big issue with um, vintage electronics, in my opinion, except for you just got to do enough volume so the shipping doesn't take up a lot of time. As you guys know, I try to avoid taping during shipping because it takes longer. And there's a lot of taping and dunnage involved with selling VCRs. So this is a different uh, market. Mm. Do I have multiple stores? Um, yes. I have multiple employee accounts um, on whatnot. On eBay, I'm not on eBay at all. Am I allowed back on eBay is another story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I'm currently not selling on eBay because um, we talk about that on my OnlyFans. <laughs> okay, so number 48. Number 48. And I'll tell you guys what's left. Number 48 is this awesome size medium original fit Carhartt pocket long sleeve tee. How many items we got left? Okay, guys, we've got North Face, Patagonia, Nike. An awesome vintage piece. True Religion, North Face, North Face, Lululemon, Page, Vintage Flannel, Peanuts, Victoria Beckham, Lululemon, and North Face remain. Pretty much every single piece remaining is awesome. So uh, I might wait till it all sells out while we run another giveaway. Um, Christine has a question. Yep. What is your take on sourcing from estate sales if you do? I like estate sales a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I would say that if you are going to source from estate sales, um, make sure that you are there on the first day and the last day, if mm -hmm. that's your plan. Get items for really cheap or pick the best items. Like we were talking about earlier, you want to make sure that you have the best items um, mm -hmm. because they'll sell the fastest. Okay. Okay, so we're going to run this giveaway. This is a size extra large crew neck. You guys ready? Let's try to get to 100 entries and we'll give away this thing. And then we'll run in. Oh, 147. You want me to run 147? Let's see. I'll run that next. Woo! You really want to do it? <laughs> All right, we'll do it. Okay, guys, do not let me down. Okay, guys, um, I wouldn't sell this on eBay. Anybody know why? This is a vintage shirt made in the USA on the Cygnus, size extra large tag. This is the Pantera. This shirt's crazy. It sells for over $100. We're going to run it starting at a dollar right now, though, because we're crazy. We're crazy. <laughs> Three, two, one. 15 seconds, no reserve. Let's go, Pantera dead stock. Yeah, it won't sell because of the Confederate flag. Mm -hmm. I actually didn't know um, it was called a Dixie flag. I didn't know that. But mm -hmm. this shirt is really, really expensive. Really, really nice. Dead stock on the Cygnus tag. Some people ask 150 for this shirt. Um, it's awesome, but not awesome in the Confederate flag way. Mm -hmm. um, it is what it is. It is what it is. I don't think this is against um, what not policy, but it's not me. I'm not supporting them. It is um, the band. Don't hate me. Hate the band. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a messenger. Thank you, Titans. Okay. Let's go back to the giveaway. It is part of our dark history, indeed. Mm. One, 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 two. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's make sure we have over 100 people and we'll run this one. I think we're already at a, well, are we really at 140? Give me a <laughs> countdown from five. Um, so, guys, on YouTube, is this useful? Are there more questions? Uh, no, not any questions at no the questions? moment. Okay. Let me know if you guys like this format with the, I've been highlighting comments and stuff, trying something new. And then we'll run these every single Monday if you guys like it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. So we're giving away this crew neck. It's black. Um, we'll see how many we have left of the shirts or of the clothing. 
We must be pretty close to selling out. I might just leave it because you have a, a pretty good chance. Amy, nice pickup. Okay, let me see how many are left in the buy now. Keeping mm -hmm. you company while I list. Oh, nice. Listing background music. <laughs> yeah, we do a Q&A. Well, we've been doing a Q&A every Monday, um, but lately we've been also multitasking with um, whatnot. But with this highlighting your comments, hopefully that will help with continuing up the Q&A on Mondays. Okay. We're going to run one more of these St. Ives jackets. This is just jackets going for 225 on eBay. It's the Tyson Holyfield Sound and the Fury with the St. Ives sleeve hit, which means there's a logo on the sleeve. It's dead stock. It's brand new. The brand is Golden Bear. It's really awesome. Size is 2XL. The tag is leather. Really, really nice piece. Um, brand new. Great color. Nice pickup, Avi. This one's not tagged. Okay, so let me delete this. Yes, I did. Okay, we've got four items remaining in the buy now, so we might as well um, we might as well sell out, guys. Four left. That's that's pretty much everything selling. Grady wants me to run the keyboards. Nah, bro, I'll just keep them. <laughs> I don't want to give them away. You want to run three eighty five? Let me see if I can find it. Material girl, you're multitasking as well. 385, let's go. <laughs> on YouTube and on whatnot. Nice. All right, guys. Led Zeppelin, size 2XL, brand new on the all style tag. We're almost sold out. I'll sell the rest of the items. Feel free to ask questions on <clears> YouTube. <throat> We will continue to do Q&A. Yeah, we'll continue to do Q&A. Mm -hmm. Appreciate everybody. Led Zeppelin 2XL, great shirt, brand new. No back hit, just one-sided. Vora, nice pickup. Are we sold out? Let me see. We might be. Let's do a poll. Sheesh. We're sold out. Let me show the rest oh, of Oh, you're sold out. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Should have started a poll in the beginning, actually. <laughs> okay, let me pin another giveaway while we do this real quick, guys. And then we'll run some more requests from the um, from the shop. Okay, this is uh, one 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 three black. Okay, yes, I'll... they want a screenshot of the Ives. Oh, of the. Can I have the jacket? The jacket, the big black one. Yeah. They want a screenshot. It. So we'll give you two screenshots. Mm -hmm. Ready? First one. Tyson Holyfield. Got it. <laughs> this side. Wait, this is a better color. You got it? Baby? Question from Alfredo. Yep. What are considered the slow months for eBay? I'm new. I'm I'm too new and to have an any historical data to determine if slow I need to. Slow months look at my story. May through back to school. <clears throat> May through, through back like to August school. So summer. Yep, summer. Okay. Okay, let me do this giveaway real quick and then we'll can she says do you buy insurance for expensive items or is it a waste of money i buy insurance for items like three or four hundred three three to four hundred dollars or more mm. so guys help me out on ebay what is the recommended um, insurance recommendation what do you guys think <clears throat> 250 and over it doesn't hurt it's a couple bucks for insurance. Mm -hmm. I still haven't had the post office ruin anything. 300, Lisa says. Um, you want to run 330? <clears throat> After this one, I'm going to show the items that sold. Or run 330. <laughs> I 330 agree, the artist. <laughs> I'm a zoomy Thank cat. Zoom, zoomies? Zoomies. Zoomies cat. Dogs okay. have zoomies too. <laughs> Led Zeppelin size small <clears throat> brand new on the Hanes heavyweight tag Hanes 
Hangs heavyweight. Let's go, fam. Are you auctioning right now? I'm auctioning. Ah. Right Auction. Let me show the rest of it so you two can get out of here. Because um, <laughs> you guys want to know what to buy and sell, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll be quick. 302, everybody wants 302? Okay. So 302, I'll pin real quick. Actually, we'll run 302 while I um, go over the items. Can you guys multitask? Oh wait, no I can't. 302 is the Jetson shirt. This is um, from the 90s. This shirt's insane, it's the wraparound. Nice. Astro, this shirt's really cool. <clears throat> but um, I'm gonna wait real quick and show the rest of the items. And let's do the giveaway first. So, okay, this is the order. We're going to do this, um, I'm going to show the rest of the items first, then we're going to give away this hoodie, then we're going to run Jetsons. Cool? Everyone on board? Give me a thumbs up, please. We're going to show the rest of the items, give away the hoodie, do the Jetsons shirt, which is dead stock. Here's the date tag, guys, 1990. It's insane. Wow. Dead stock, brand new. Okay. Wait, I'm going to have Connor help me. You can just put him back on this rack. Um, okay. Number 22 is this North Face with this carrot, and I'm not sure what logo that is, but the it carrot logo. It has like a, a company on the side, maybe? Oh. I don't know. Or oh. Fulfillment. <laughs> Fulfillment is the company, apparently, with the carrot. Oh, Instacart, Instacart. Uh. Good call. Instacart logo. Yeah. Next is this Patagonia Fuzzy, number 835. This is a women's small, Instacart. the uh -huh. fuzzy, that's nice. Number 840 is Nike track pants running. Number 846 is this vintage Sims snowboarding coat. Really nice piece. Yes, I do have a bunch of those and we're gonna run them in just a second. 849 is True Religion, nice piece. This is size 30, made in USA, 849. 851 is another North Face fleece, men's size extra large. <laughs> Don. What's up? Uh, Don says, I need my daily refinement pajamas and matching socks, Chris. Yeah, when? <laughs> I, I'm going to get a daily refinement robe because people... Um, or just like an adult onesie. <laughs> adult onesie. North Face size large. See, this is merch. Yeah, I know. Um, I need to make North all Face these size things. large. What number is that? Uh, 856. 856 or 56 is North Face blue. 858 is Lululemon. This top is size four, I believe. Will there be any more of your designed merch for sale? Yes. Yes, I will work on it. <laughs> Page size 30. I'm gonna make a dedicated merch store for you guys. South Chanel. <laughs> By Chanel, I mean Channel. South Channel fleece. This is the true. This is the classic lumber sexual, lumber sexual colorway. You make pancakes in the morning, love in the evening, and chop firewood all day. That's what you, that, right? <laughs> Am I right? Pancakes, firewood. Mm -hmm. Maple syrup, for sure, yeah. All right, number 865 oh, is... Oh, Charlie Brown. Charlie Cute. Brown, right? Yeah. Charlie Brown peanuts. Nice. That's nice. There's a comment from Brenda. She's, they say, I want you to know I listen to you about fixing my eBay store, 10 plus listings every day, and my store is taking off. Love Much it. Much appreciated. Thank you for your knowledge. You're welcome. <laughs> Victoria Beckham for Rock and Republic. And the final piece of the day, or not final, second. Oh my goodness. Oh, actually. 872 is North Face. This North Face windbreaker jacket with also fleece. Mm -hmm. And the last piece, 874, is Lululemon, the scuba hoodie. Nice. This is a nice one. So I think size four, scuba hoodie, number 874. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Could I play music? I could play music, but I personally don't play. What do you guys think? Music or no music? Let me know in the chat. Music or no music? Whenever, if I'm like listening to someone on whatnot, I usually just put my own music on. Like I don't really like it when they have music because then it's like People are saying clashes. yes and no. <laughs> but I don't um, know. Also, I could put music on YouTube, but like, I could make music, I guess. I don't know. Okay, we're going to run this <laughs> giveaway know. real quick. Let's try to get to <clears throat> 200 entries. Yeah, I feel we're like you guys close. can just put your own music on, right? Um, 
Do you guys think music or no music? And YouTube's like, saying no. no. Three, two, one. A lot of people are saying no. Yeah. So daily refinement hoodie, we're doing a giveaway right now. Or a crew neck. Crew neck. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a question from Jay. Jay, what's up? Been debating on joining your Patreon. What yeah. will I get from it right from the top from joining? Any promotions or discounts for it? Thank you. Okay, no promotions. We only run one sale a year. And we haven't... Actually, we've, we've never run a sale. I just put a link to the... Let me put this on YouTube. I can. You want um, the Patreon one? Yeah, the Patreon, Patreon. one. Patreon. Um, but if you go to patreon.com slash the resource podcast, it'll have a list of all the benefits we have. And in order, this is how I would run it. Let me pin this real quick. Um, I would join the group. I would listen to all of the calls from Tech and Sports first because he's the reselling goat. Um, he sells a thousand items a day. So guys, you think my advice is good? <laughs> it's nothing compared to his advice because mm -hmm. he's been doing this a long time and he sells a thousand items a day. Mm -hmm. So yeah. listen to his calls first then my calls, then join the Facebook group. Jetson shirt, 1990, dead stock, size small, brand new, made in USA. This is the mid-90s, a single stitch, Hanes BPT. We sell this at the flea market for about 150. We only, this is, I think, either the last one or second to last one that we have. It's a ridiculous shirt. Liz, nice pickup. Okay. Question from Bruno. Yep. Hi, Chris, what do you think it may convert better a 5% promoted listings with a 15% markdown sale or just 20% markdown, no promotions. Can we um, roll all these out? They're all sold. Um, <clears throat> uh, so what would convert better is just marking your item down 20%. Mm. None of those. Because um, you need to do eBay safe mode where you're not allowed to use best offer or any promotions or coupons because that's way too complicated. That's like so niche and a huge waste of time to try to figure that out on one item. So what I would do is just remove all promotions, remove all coupons, remove all best offer, lower the price until it sells so you can get an idea of the market. Mm. Promotions are not how you sell items. They are just extra. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Because if you still have an item that's not a good item and you're promoting it, it might still not sell. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to run this way. So we'll go... Okay. I'm going to run a bunch of shirts, guys, so um, maybe let's do Q&A on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Q&A on YouTube. So, guys, ask me questions, and then we're going to run a bunch of shirts. You guys ready? 277 is a CBGB shirt. It's a defunct club in New York City, size medium. It is vintage. It's a um, great shirt. Brand new. Ricardo says, how do you calculate how much you will pay when, you, when using promoted listing? So whatever you promote at, the amount that you sell plus tax and shipping multiplied by that amount is the amount that you pay. And uh, Connor, I don't, um, I'm good. I'm just going to leave them on here. Oh, wait, still going. <laughs> CBGB shirt. Auction happening now. Auction's happening now. We're answering Daily questions. refinement on whatnot. And yep. then Q&A And now, here. guys, if you sign up using my code, you get $15 free. So... Mm -hmm. Sign up using my code today, please. Sign up if this is useful for you. Sign up, just buy something, um, and it really helps out the channel. A trendy hunter, nice pickup. Next one is, is this it is Glenn the Danzig and the Misfits? I don't listen to this band, but I think that's what it is. Haynes Heavyweight, size medium. Misfits, brand new. Soul has a question. Yep. I'm looking to relaunch my eBay store, and I'm planning to focus mainly on women's clothing. Do you happen to find a certain department of women's better, athletic, business, casual, et yep. cetera? This is not single stitch. So um, for, can they can see my face? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I recommend athleisure first, and then career, and then luxury, and then um, it depends on your market. So as an mm -hmm. example, there's a lady named Michelle in our group that has 1,000 dresses for sale. She only sells eight dresses a month. Mm. You guys got that? 1,000 in her store, she only sells eight dresses a month, but for like $800 each. So there's that ultra high-end market where you sell them for multiple thousands of dollars, but not too many. She still makes six figures, but she has 1,000 super duper high-end. Candy, thank you. Mm. Um, we got vintage up next. Um, or 
you could get a thousand um, a thousand Adidas leggings for women, brand new, and charge twenty two dollars free shipping, free returns. You might sell nine hundred in a month because so many women are looking for Adidas leggings compared to an evening dress for the Met Gala. So guys, this is single stitch, Senior Lopez, brand new. This is one of the best shirts. It's super thick. Senior Lopez, size large, single stitch, single dingle, as the kids would say. Um, if you're looking for vintage, this is cool stuff. The size is extra large. Um, yeah, wow guys, this is a really low price for this shirt. We sell this for about 40 to 50 at the flea market. It's a great shirt, 90s, single stitch. Questions? Hit me with the questions, guys. <laughs> We're going to be here for another, like, 40 shirts. We're going fast. Mm -hmm. Do you think you could put that light a little higher? Yes. When you get a chance. Or just move it to the right. Is there a bench? Okay. Um, Hopefully I don't die, guys. Uh, it was nice knowing you. Wait. <laughs> I, no. no. Uh, We're good. <laughs> Can you hold this chair, please? Yeah, I'm gonna hold your chair. So if he dies, it's my fault. Is that high enough? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's good. Thank you. Okay. This chair has wheels. <laughs> You're gonna go roller okay, skate. Go. Okay. <laughs> wait, who said I had zoomies? <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, number 65, we can try and find it. Maybe um, Connor can find number 65. Okay. Grateful Dead, you guys like that? Let's go. Grateful Dead, size small, great graphic. More questions, guys. You've been listening to me a lot. You appreciate the advice. I'm glad that I'm helpful. Mm -hmm. Thank you for supporting. All over prints. We do have all over print, but not in front of me. Um, Trendy Hunter says, why do you still promote eBay even though they did you dirty? Because <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> That's why. Because I'll be back. As they say, sorry, or I can't swear because we're on, um, YouTube? on YouTube. but mm -hmm. <laughs> Family friendly. <laughs> whatever that saying is, somebody put it in the chat. That's related to poop and where you eat. <laughs> If you get what I'm saying, somebody <laughs> throw that in the chat so that I don't know if you, you get what I'm saying. But um, you don't, just just in general, don't burn bridges. Mm -hmm. In general, don't burn bridges. Um, <laughs> Kathy, thank you. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna throw some of these in the chat. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> Kay Watson is asking, is it possible to keep your store at a certain number? Do I just keep deleting and listing over? No, that doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> don't, um, the number of items in your store doesn't matter. So you want to just learn how to make items sell. So, um, we're going to get into the heavy stuff here. Um, I just put a, um, I just put a daily refinement two pack sticker pack in the chat for two bucks plus shipping, so you can support the stream by buying this. I would highly appreciate it. Two stickers. Um, the, okay. Um, you guys know how I was setting a goal for like making one to two thousand dollars a week. You all still with me? Um, when you set your goal, there's four things that you need to do. You need four habits. Y'all ready? Four habits. Um, First habit, oh, somebody, damn, I'm supposed to post more than one. Um, sorry for swearing, YouTube. <laughs> um, sticker pack. That's the zoomies. Okay, two bucks for the stickers. Okay, so you need four habits. We're gonna start this auction while, while I'm talking. Red hot chili peppers. Size medium, red hot chili pepper shirt. Um, these are peppers, by the way. I know some people didn't. I, I didn't gather it right away. I thought they were eyeballs on the Gildan tag. Um, 
So you need four habits to be successful at eBay. Everybody ready? Um, you gotta write this down. Um, first habit, you need to list daily. Just at least one item, okay? Don't go crazy. You have to list something to sell something, so at least one item per day. Second habit, this is the most important habit, and you guys need to buy a sticker to support me because um, this is a really <laughs> good habit. It's worth $2. <laughs> It's worth $2. Somebody needs to buy a sticker before I reveal habit number two. I'm stingy like that. I'll turn this stream <laughs> off and not tell anyone the secrets. Thank you, Alfredo. Thank you. Okay, here's the sticker. Here's the sticker information. Um, the second habit, it's a single stitch on the Anvil black tag. This is an awesome um, wolf shirt. Dead stock, brand new. Is long sleeve. Wow, I should have kept this. Um, I like long sleeve black shirts. <laughs> You need to review your store daily and make items sell. So, it's important. You need to be able to look at a listing and figure out how to make it sell. Title adjustment, photo adjustment, item specifics, pricing, return policy, whatever you need to do, you need to look at items every day and make them sell. So figure out a way to make your items sell faster. You have to do that every day. First habit, list every day. Second habit, go through your listings and make sure that they sell by improving them and adjusting them. Wow, that's a crazy steal. This is a vintage shirt, guys, single stitch. Um, third habit, we gotta sell at least, wait, did I already give it up? Oh, no, I didn't yet. Gotta sell at least two more stickers and I'll give you guys the third habit. And I'm giving you them in order. I thought about this all night yesterday. <laughs> this is an awesome nature tea indeed. This is a crazy steal. Brand new shirt. Savvy Krista is savvy. Okay, we sold some stickers. So, um, number one, listing habit. Number two. Go through your listings and improve them until they sell. Everybody understand that? The, if you only have one tool, it's lowering the price. Okay, then sourcing is number three. Have to source every day to keep up on the trends. What's selling, what's not selling. When you're out sourcing, are you guys looking for what each thing sells for or are you just buying blindly? How many people just shop by putting stuff in their cart or are you looking it up one at a time? I know, number four gets stickers. I see, you know where my, <laughs> you know where my head's at. ABS, always be selling. Door shirt, 2009, size medium, not single stitch. Great shirt, double-sided, back hit, tour dates, great door shirt, brand new, starting at $1. Um, number four, do we sell stickers? Don't add, don't, don't make me ask twice. I'm just kidding. I'll give it to you guys anyway, but somebody please buy stickers. Um, <laughs> number four is keep track. That's it. That's the secret to building a full-time income. Keep I just gave it to you guys. Of keep track of the three things that I was just talking about. Okay. Make sure you list every day. Make sure you go in every day and make your listings sell faster. Go sourcing every day and learn the brands, what to sell. It's easier to sell stuff that... Um, okay, guys. What's easier to sell, the doors or nature tea? What's easier to sell? Doors t-shirt or Nature t-shirt? No way, guys. Door shirt's way easier to sell, in my opinion. Mm. The door shirt's easier to sell because there's a bigger fan base for the doors than there are for nature tees. Come does, on. Does it depend on your audience? I guess it depends on your audience, but in general, I feel like there are more doors fans than um, nature tees. Mm. Um, yeah, YouTube's saying doors. Yeah. So guys, right now you're learning because you're, you're looking at what these prices end at and you get a feel for what sells well. Mm -hmm. So this is a Vietnam shirt, Vietnam vet on the all style tag, size extra large. Let me see if this is vintage. It is not. Not vintage, but Vietnam veteran shirt. We have a question. Yep. He just says, Chris, what maximum yearly income or gross sales do you think you can do all from home on eBay? Um, Tech did one million by himself solo. I think the maximum I could do is um, I did the math on it. Four hundred um, times twenty is for me the maximum is around because um, I only work on eBay forty hours a week. The maximum I could make is about seven hundred fifty thousand solo clothing. Seven hundred thousand by myself. Tech was able to do one million, but Tech has a stronger work ethic than me. That's in gross sales. That's gross sales. Mm -hmm. um, Michael Jackson shirt size medium. So guys, 
What do you think is going to sell for more? The Michael Jackson shirt or the Vietnam War shirt that we just sold? Vietnam War vet or Michael Jackson? What sells better? I want, why though? Why do you guys think Michael Jackson sells for more? <laughs> it, it is selling for more, but I'm just wondering. Um, oh, is this making sense to everyone? So we're trying to teach context. Durgan's with the win. Nice pickup. Um, so, okay, guys. This is Michael Jackson was at war with himself. That is true. <laughs> um, next is Jimi Hendrix, size medium. In the Picasso print, also with the tour dates on the back. This is a, these are great colors, Jimi Hendrix. Um, They're saying band tees or more fans. Band tees have more fans. Guys, what's another benefit of selling only t-shirts? Fam, what is another benefit of selling only t-shirts? Easy to ship is correct. Lightweight, that's right. Lightweight, that's right. You guys know. You know. <laughs> Low shipping cost is right. Mm -hmm. there, there, there's one that there's one that you guys haven't hit yet. Easy to ship. Easy light, to ship, weight. light, low shipping cost, easy to store. What's another one? I would say it doesn't get damaged as easily. Doesn't get damaged as easily, that's true. Yes, someone hit it. Mm -hmm. Easy to find. Easy to find. Anybody can ah. find t shirts to sell. Readily mm -hmm. available, that's right. But why don't people sell more shirts? Why don't people sell more shirts? It's a four letter word. <laughs> because it's work, that's why. <laughs> it's work. Barry Bonds, Russell Athletic, <laughs> size small. Yeah, low profit margin, exactly. It's work, that's why, it's low profit margin. Mm -hmm. Barry Bonds, um, vintage, not vintage, I'm sorry, Y2K, 2004. Does this mm -hmm. shirt come with juice? Straight in the neck. I'm just kidding. I wish it did, but um, no steroids. I mean, for steroids, it would cost more than $2. <laughs> it's a brand new shirt. Um. Oh, my God. Guys, okay, look at this. There's 180 people in the chat. This shirt is brand new. It's got Barry Bonds, who's well known for his steroid use. <laughs> That's the why Giants he's well <laughs> still sold for two dollars. Okay, and that's with the fifty percent reseller tax. Okay, so we're talking. This is a one dollar shirt. Garbage. Okay, garbage. <laughs> okay, next, Grateful Dead. Um, question from Pyro. Size medium. Go ahead. Would you still source every day if you were running out of inventory for your queue, or would you buy a storage? Everyone, you guys should be ideally two weeks ahead if you can be, but I would rather you be no inventory than bad inventory. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guys, let me know. Bad relationship or no relationship? You're lonely. <laughs> You're lonely at night. Guys, how is Grateful Dead going for $7? <laughs> um, brand new shirt, size medium. This shirt's not that bad. Even if you're not a Grateful Dead fan, if you wear this to the bar, yeah. you have a 33% chance of getting a phone number more. Um, see, people are saying no relationship is better than bad relationship. It's the same with inventory. It's not a lie. 50% of the time, it works every time. No relationship or bad relationship. Yeah, no relationship or bad relationship. Let's try a poll. I'm going to try a poll. Rainforest, Nature Tea, 90s, Dead Stock, Vintage, Single Stitch, Single Dingle. Let's see if this works. So, guys, why is Single Stitch so important? Please tell me. Yeah, pull. <laughs> why is Single Stitch important? Why, though? Ooh, I like that one. So many birds. It's, I know, I'm a bird guy. Mm -hmm. Guys. This shirt's worth at least $12 because there's 12 Seven. Birds. Oh my God, Amber Lee designs. <laughs> $5 for the brand new Nature Tea. Sheesh. Um, okay, guys. This is the qualities. 
Made in the USA, guys, I don't know if you're ready for this. The embossed, it's like embossed. Mm -hmm. It's like 3D raised puff print on the pineapple. Are you serious, guys? This easily, in my mind, is a $75 shirt. And if you know what I mean, anyone know what I mean? Um, it's easily a $70 shirt. You guys already know how I roll. I don't need to wear this shirt. I don't need to wear this shirt. Anything goes. <laughs> Anything goes. Uh, we, have a, <laughs> we have a question from yep. Diva. Yep. Can you go into detail about quality and quality to volume sales. I have 1K listings and am on eBay every day tweaking things. I have been lucky to sell a few a day. Yep, I'll go over it with you. Qualities, this is size medium. This is a very scandalous fish shirt. They are what appears to be kissing. <laughs> this bubble action, sheesh. Um, okay, let's go over the quality thing. You shouldn't grow your store if you're not selling at least half of your listing goal. Um, so if you Frost, Frost, did you did you see that you picked up the um, the the best piece of the day? Frost, were you here? You picked up the Ralph Lauren puff polo. That was like at least a hundred bucks. I think you saw it. Okay. Well, I'll just show you again because it was awesome. <laughs> This is a size 3XLT down Ralph Lauren um, down vest. It's awesome. It was the best piece of the day. So nice pickup. Easily 100 bucks. Ralph Lauren vintage 3XLT. That was an amazing pickup. Pickup of the day. Um, okay. 278 is crazy vintage t-shirt. Oscar Mayer. You guys saw this. This is a size extra large, which we didn't have many of. This shirt is wild. It's got the front and the back. Anybody remember Oscar Mayer? If I wear an Oscar Mayer hot dog. There still are Oscar Mayer hot dogs. But not this commercial. Oh, this yeah, is from yeah. the 90s, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got the sleeve hit. I think it has the ketchup and the mustard on the... Yeah, it's got the, the ingredients on the sleeve. Insane shirt. We sell this for over a hundred bucks at the flea market. Okay, back to her question. Yeah. If you're barely getting any sales, it's usually has more to do with what items you have in your store. Um, more with what items you have in your store versus the, um, the way that you're handling promotions and coupons and markdowns. You're an ideal candidate for eBay safe mode. eBay safe mode, no best offer, no promotions, no markdowns. You just have to price the item until it sells. If you keep lowering the price and it doesn't sell, then it's the item's problem. Mm -hmm. And that teaches you, like... It teaches you how to sell. How to find quality items, better items. I know, right? This shirt is wild. It's the Snoopy's World of Magic. It's from 19... This is a 1995 shirt, but the um, graphic is from 1956. Hanes, 100% cotton, extra large. Let's go, guys. Snoopy. Dead stock, single stitch. This shirt also over a hundred dollars at the vintage flea market. Amazing shirt. We have twenty eight votes for the poll. Yeah. And it's one hundred percent no relationship. Oh. Versus okay, so bad relationship. Why do you guys buy items that are cheap that don't sell? Because <laughs> that is considered a bad relationship to Chris. Yeah, that's right. Don't buy cheap <laughs> items that don't sell. That's a bad relationship. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the Charlie Brown already sold. That was a sick, sick pickup. Blue skies, nice pickup. 30 birds, nice. Okay, guys, so nice pickup. This Hollywood t shirt is size medium. It's a tourist tee made in the USA, single stitch. Also, this hit with the Dolby uh, stereos. This is like a, you know iconic of that time in the 90s. No designer today. We already ran all the stuff. Plus, I usually, not, I usually don't go after designer because it's a little too risky. Mm -hmm. I send it to the real, real generally. I know, right? Trends are trash. If I find it in an XL, I'll send it to you. It's a nice shirt. Size medium. Do I wash clothes or steam or iron? I do what's appropriate. 
Some items don't require cleaning, some items do. I don't wash or steam any new items. I just leave them on the rack overnight and the wrinkles come out. Hmm. Bye, Bargain. Thanks for hanging out. So Good morning, we're gonna do Timothy. death now, guys, because why not? And um, I'm trying to sell... Um, okay, so let me see here. How many items are you guys trying to sell per week? Put in the chat. No, single stitches is just something that the kids like to talk about. It's really not that important. <laughs> 200 items a week, 250, 400. Southern resells, millions per week. Who are you, Jeff Bezos? Jeff Bezos <laughs> in the chat, guys. 500 a week, as much as I can, is not a good answer. Cairo says enough. 30 a day. Nicholas says 10. RC says 200 would be nice. 30 seconds to Mars, guys. Size medium. Sudden death. The timer does not reset on the Tennessee River. Tag, 15 seconds. Five seconds remaining, guys. We're doing sudden death. Brand new t-shirt. Julie, nice pickup. <clears throat> Let's see if this is in here. Same. This, this is a... Is it pronounced dolman sleeve? Cotton Deluxe, size large, vintage, wings and wheels. Amazing graphic with the dolman sleeve. Three seconds remaining. Vintage, guys, let's go. That one's nice. It's nice. RCC, mm -hmm. nice pickup. Michael Jackson on deck. Size medium. More questions, guys? Uh, yeah, Sol says, speaking of the real real, I plan on sending any luxury items I find to them because I do not want to risk my account. Is yeah. that the route you would recommend? Yes, we just sent 107 items to the real, real, all high-end designer stuff. Mm -hmm. And I uh, don't want to risk getting our account suspended for no reason. So, and we have a video coming out about it this week. And we have a video coming out yes. about it this week. About the real, real and the whole process. So stay tuned for that. Frost, update your payment. So we've got a size medium jerseys made in USA. Single stitch, single dingle, major T guys. Great graphic, great colors, very 90. West Marine. Sudden death fam. The timer does not reset savvy, nice steel. More questions? Uh, no. Okay. Feel free to leave questions. Yeah, so I know you guys are hanging out. Not a dolman sleeve, because it's not long enough. It is longer. But she, maybe dolman sleeves are like half. Like three quarter kind three of thing. Three quarter. I'm not sure. Best places to source item, flea markets, garage sales, thrift stores. Gildan Ultra Cotton Size Medium. This is the 67th running of Turnkey Midget Grand Prix. That's a great graphic. Not vintage though. Do I like any retail arbitrage? I do. Um, last year I did $2 million worth of retail arbitrage to make around 170 k So would you guys do that? Last year I spent $2 million bucks on my credit card and to make $170,000 profit. Worth it or not worth it? Small profit margin compared to other stuff. Haynes BPT made in USA. Guys, this is fishes. What would Paul Cantu say about fishes? Guys. Oh, Monterey Bay Aquarium. Anybody follow Paul Cantu? Paul Cantu? What does Paul Cantu say about fishes? That's right, secret. Uh, question. I'm planning on going on a sourcing trip soon for a week long. What do you recommend I do with my eBay store while I'm away? Extend your handling time. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's what I recommend. Size medium nature tea, guys. Ooh, I like that one. Um, do they need to schedule their listings to go up? or Look at like... this workout. I would recommend that you either take your, your store completely down, um, and that way you get a real vacation, or you could schedule listings to go up and extend your handling time to 10 days or so. Rolling Stones, guys. And you'd have to extend your handling time for every single item, or there's a way to batch that? You can batch the whole thing. So you can okay. edit 2,000 items at a time. Okay. I would change your business policies and turn on vacation mode or extend your handling time. Mm -hmm. Rolling Stones, guys. Dead stock, size medium. Brand new shirt. Flippin' Mimi, nice pickup. Um, Living Daily says, thoughts on sending very niche, vin or selling, I'm assuming, 
Very niche vintage stuff somewhere like Sotheby's? Very niche is usually very small profit total. Mm. Very high profit per. Mm. Do you guys get that? Really high profit per item, really small profit total. Mm. Can we sell some more stickers? I've got, I've got two more nuggets for you guys. <laughs> $2 advice. Somebody buy stickers in the buy now and I'll drop the advice for you. I'll wait. We got all day. <laughs> I'll wait for $2. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so those that sell the most items make the most total profit. Everyone got it? Mm -hmm. So like, I don't care about making a thousand dollars on one item. I want to make millions of dollars total. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, this is a really good shirt. Single stitch, size large, made in the USA on the Hanes BP tag. This is a crazy vintage shirt from the 90s. The, the lineup is Bobby Brown, Patti LaBelle, Stephanie Mills, LaVert, Tonight Star, or I'm sorry, Midnight Star, mm -hmm. Cool Mo D, the OJs, Karen White, and Rob Bass. This shirt <laughs> sells for over 100 at the vintage flea market, but here on Whatnot, different audience. Um, question from Ryan. I have a Michael Kors blazer, but I am unable to identify it. What would you do with clothes that you are not able to find online through pictures? Fruit of the Loom, size uh, medium, Alcatraz tourist shirt. Alcatraz is a really cool tourist destination. If you can't find it online, I wouldn't have bought it in the first place. Because mm -hmm. when you're sourcing, that's why one of the three habits of source every day. So that you can find items that are really good without having to, like, you want to find stuff that's easy to find. Like when you're just beginning, maybe just sell stuff that's this obvious. You type in Mrs. Monopoly online, tells you exactly what it sells for. You look at the, what it sells for, what you can buy it for, and see if you can make a profit or not. If you're just starting out, don't pick stuff that doesn't have images. If you do pick up something or someone gives you something for really cheap and you want to sell it and there's no comps, just find something similar. Mm -hmm. That's okay. it. Something as similar as possible. America's Cup tee, long sleeve, size large. This is from 1990 on the Hanes BP tag, size large. Great vintage shirt, single stitch. America's Cup, big print. Summer's nice pickup. Mm, Don says, and hit the keywords hard if hit, you have that kind of item. Hit the keywords hard. Jimi Hendrix, size medium, on the medium cool tag. Uh, let's see, question from Soul. Mm -hmm. I have a Pokemon card collection. What platform would you recommend I sell them through or a third party I should use to do it for me? I would sell it on eBay. eBay. And third party, I would find a local shop. Mm. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Medium, 100% cotton, great shirt, black shirt. The timer does not reset, guys. Three seconds remaining. Mm. Just to add to their question, would... If it's a Pokemon card collection, would you sell them all as individuals on eBay? Or I would, would you sell, sell them, them all sets? individually on eBay. Or DM me or email me at chrisadelirefinement.com and let me try and sell your collection. <laughs> so um, I do 50-50 split, but I have the resar celebrity tax. So I charge a little bit more, but I so cost you, a little bit more. you'd get more. more. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I would look for your local shop. Mm. What's up, Mo Money Flow? Um, Senior Lopez, size large. This is a really cool shirt. This is called a reverse mullet shirt, guys, with a big graphic in the front and a small graphic in the rear. Senior Lopez, single stitch, brand new 90s shirt. Awesome. The timer does not reset. Next kicks, nice pickup. This shirt's awesome. We ran it earlier. This is size large. Senior Lopez, Bandito Volley. Size large, mullet tee, Senior Lopez, single stitch, awesome graphic. The timer does not reset, guys. Okay. Question from Ms. Tempting Treasures. Yep. To combine shipping on eBay and send an invoice on unpaid items, I would need to switch to not require immediate payment. Is that correct? Or if I have immediate payment on buy it now, do a partial refund? Can we repeat that? Yeah. So question to combine shipping on okay. eBay and send an invoice on unpaid items. I would need to switch to not require immediate payment. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. 
This is a really cool shirt, guys. Earth Equipment. This is a really cool. Is this, is this a goat? Billy goat? Earth mm, Equipment and the Onita Power Tag. Vintage shirt. Size large. Great shirt. It's a ram. Thank you. Yeah. That's a great shirt. Summers 422. How's the pace, guys? No jerseys today. Nature tea, double mm. bird, save the rainforest on the Haynes Beefy. That's Size my large. favorites. I love the nature teas. The nature teas are <laughs> sick. Single stitch. Best platform for selling vintage clothes, in my opinion, eBay. Mm. Unless you like selling brand new shirts for $8, like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Blue Angels on the Toltex tag. Size large, made in the USA. Let's go, guys. Great shirt. Question from Christine. What is the best way to learn brands that sell well with the market ever-changing? I appreciate your help. I'm new, and I'll be joining a group shortly. Okay, this is the plan. List at least one item every single day. Go into your existing listings and improve the listings until they sell. Don't list two items a day until you're selling one a day. Learn how to sell items first. You have no business listing more than one item if you can't sell one item a day. With 100 items in your store, you should sell at least one item a day. If you're not selling one item a day per 100, slow down. Go back and learn how to sell. Don't do any, um, don't do any promoter listings, no coupons, no BS. Just go in there and figure out how to make things sell. And that will help you to learn what brands are selling for you and what are not, and you slowly learn that from experience that's right. right you learn over time starting with your hundred items the door is size large really really great shirt this is a really really great shirt for flipping and just aware the doors the yellow peanuts are already sold and i don't know what size it is it looks like a size medium Led Zeppelin on deck, guys. Um, so, guys, before you go to listing more than one a day, you got to be selling one a day. With the 100 items in my store, I was selling seven a day. Led Zeppelin, size medium, great shirt. With the Mothership logo on the Hanes Heavyweight, Y2K, not vintage, brand new. Bye, Timothy. More questions, guys, because I got about... 20 shirts left, and then I got to go. Um, BWS says, in the trading card market as a solo operator, would you suggest higher ASP or more volume at lower ASP? I'm always a volume guy. I don't think that um, high ASP, low volume works. Leads up on shirt guys, size small with the Japanese print. So more volume, lower ASP. More volume, lower ASP, even solo. RCC, nice pickup. Senior Lopez, this is a great vintage shirt, size large. This is a easily a $40 to $60 shirt locally. Really, really nice shirt. Senior Lopez, dead stock, size large, brand new. Great graphic, single stitch, mm -hmm. amazing. Um, Cheap Crypto Miner says, how overall are you doing with eBay, eBay Life Ban? I'm feeling good. Um, <laughs> Senior Lopez Grande. I did find out, though, this is a Federalis Express shirt. Really, really awesome shirt. Size large. Vintage, guys. The timer does not reset. Five seconds left. Um, okay, so I I'm really into horoscope lately <laughs> and uh, anagram tests, personality tests. Mm -hmm. So my personality is I am a wood rat born in 1984, okay? The wood rat has <laughs> high anxiety and usually as a coping mechanism works a lot. That's like exactly how I am. Hmm. I'm anxious. I'm, an, I'm a, a relatively anxious person, but working, 1984 is my age. Um, working makes me feel better because I can control what I'm doing. So in order to not be anxious, I work as a coping mechanism. Hmm. Some people have different kinds of, um, um, just, they're just different. Mm -hmm. I'm built where I'm a high anxiety person. So I have difficulty sleeping, uh, sometimes I'm not feeling well, but when I work, it all goes away. And what saved me was this Fitbit, because for Fitbits, I now treat sleeping like work. Mm. As weird as that sounds, I'm like, okay, time to go to sleep. <laughs> like, I didn't, you know, like how, um, that's why that book, I think it's Baby Wise or whatever, all the baby books that teach you how to sleep train your kid, I sleep train myself as an adult. Mm. So mm -hmm. now that I track this, 
I figured out I only need six and a half, yeah, frosted winter. Um, I only need six and a half hours of sleep, but I need to be in bed eight hours to get it. Does that make sense, guys? Um, I, have, I have to be in bed for eight hours in order to sleep six and a half hours because I'm working on the quality of my sleep. Mm -hmm. So that's just, it is what it is, and I wouldn't have known that about the Fitbit. Okay. Led Zeppelin is a great shirt, size small. Stay away to heaven. Um, so the more you know about yourself, the better, but you gotta know your personality type. I'm a, a high anxiety person. Mm. So if you are not a high anxiety person, you gotta act differently. Monster says to sell faster, hoodies or t-shirts? T-shirts. Um, guys, did you guys know, gals and guys, people, did you know that um, t-shirts are the only non-seasonal clothing item? Did you know that? Yes or no? <laughs> um, we do have size. We have all sizes. America's Cup size large Defender. This is a great shirt. <clears throat> On the Hanes Beefy single stitch size large, great shirt. Single dingle nineties. Nice pickup summers. Cow Crew, Made in USA, size double XL. Let's go, guys. The yacht. This yacht is excellent. The yacht shirt off the SF Bay, SF Cruiser t-shirt, size double extra large. The timer does not reset, guys. Two seconds remaining. And I'm still taking questions mm -hmm. for seven more items, guys. RC says, if you have 1,000 items and they are not moving, do you recommend to unlist and relist or just take them down all... Take them all down and start over. I would take them all down and start over. Blood sugar, sex, magic, red hot chili peppers. But before that, um, what I would do is remove all promotions, remove all coupons, and start discounting the items. Um, that's really important. Um, so wow, just $7 price. for red hot chili peppers. So I would discount your items first. Okay, so this is the plan. Your store sucks. Items aren't selling fast. What I recommend is you can do heavier promotions so you get better traffic. But in my opinion, that might not work because maybe your items are screwed up. So take off all the promotions, all the coupons. My recommendation is start lowering the price. If they don't sell, go in there and try to figure out mechanically what's missing. Usually wrong category, wrong item specifics, price too high. That's like top three. It's usually not photos. But most people's photos are, are really bad. But discount the items, remove all the promotions, all the BS, get them to sell, discount, 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 discount. After you're done discounting auction, they don't sell an auction, start over. Mm -hmm. This is a professional Bull Riders 2000 Y2K shirt, rodeo shirt, on the fruity tag, vintage, size large, great shirt. Sells for 50 bucks locally, but here on whatnot, $6. <laughs> BWS says, follow up to the trading card question, what is an ideal ASP if you prefer more volume at lesser value? 10 bucks probably. The Defender America's Cup single stitch shirt, 90s, size large. Summers, nice pickup. Summers, I hope you're a reseller because you're killing it. <laughs> Few more shirts. The Door, size medium. Y2K shirt on the Bravado tag. Duncan says, uh, Chris, Chris, should I do 80% promoted listings on eBay? No. <laughs> I, I would say don't go over 10% unless you really know what you're doing. 30 seconds to Mars, size large, gray band shirt, jet black. Mm -hmm. This is on the Tennessee River, great shirt brand. Yeah, this is a good one. <laughs> Don. Don says in regards to the 80% promoted listings, don't forget to stock that with 50% off coupon too. I know, right? <laughs> Soft shirt, size small, no guts, no glory, 90s vibe. Let's go, guys. Five seconds remaining. Size small is a great shirt. Um, Marcy's asking, free shipping or no? It depends. Mm. depends. Um, this is a nature tee, and I will go over that in just a second. Um, this is Judy Kinsley, size, or it's a 1987 graphic, but a mid-90s shirt. Nature tee on the Hanes Beefy, size small. The timer does not reset, guys. Okay. 
So last shit, we're gonna give it away. Um, mystery versus the, actually, you know what? That's us run it. Money is money. Um, can you guys give me an example when free shipping would be appropriate? Because we're we're in class right now. <laughs> when would free shipping be appropriate? New Zealand tea. Size medium. America's Cup. Nope. Oh, me? I don't know. High margins? Maybe. Under 16 ounces? Maybe. Grace. Raise the price and make it free shipping usually doesn't work. Grace says high comp when there's high competition? When there's high competition is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. In my opinion. You don't need it in most categories. Not necessary. Summer's nice pickup. Okay, let's see. Do we sell out of everything? We have um, some merch. Let me try some. Let's go. Um, size medium hoodie. Let's see if anybody wants this. They're saying also maybe free shipping on small light items. Small light items is usually okay. Mm. Daily refinement hoodie, size medium. It's on the Hanes Eco Smart tag. With Christine's Make Progress Daily logo. Nice piece. Dead stock, brand new. <laughs> well, Size it's not medium. vintage, though. Hmm? It's not vintage, though. Not vintage. Isn't dead stock specifically vintage or no? Dead stock just means unworn. Okay. But um, usually people use it in reference to older. Mm. But you can see it with new. You just integrate it with your total asking. Usually you lose money when you do that. Um, notice how whatnot is not free shipping. Mm. Um, whatnot's about maximizing the profit. And a good way to maximize the profit, in my opinion, is to not offer free shipping. Sneak up, what's your question? I'm going to run a couple more hoodies and then we might call it a day, guys. Because we got another show starting in 19 minutes. Daily refinement size extra large blue hoodie. Is 1980s and 1990s considered vintage? I think so. Some people consider 20 years old vintage. So 2000, 2002 actually for some people is vintage. Size extra large, blue hoodie, brand new guys. Why do you have to pay for giveaways? Legally, you can't charge somebody to, give, to, to win something. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you can join us, Duncan. It's probably because we've been going for three hours. <laughs> yep. Usually we're we're live like at 10 a.m. PST. Are you guys, is this useful? Everybody <laughs> learned something? Hopefully it's been useful. Mm -hmm. um, let me see if I can run one more. Oh, this is a full zip. This is cool. Over 49. Last piece of the day, guys. Last chance, last call for questions. Sudden mm -hmm. death, 15 seconds. Daily refinement hoodie, size large. Zippy, zippy hoodie. I can't put them on, sorry. I'm That's the hood. <laughs> I can't put this on, it's too hard. So this is what it is though. Luna, nice pickup. Last question, do you prefer to list more men's clothes or women's clothes? I prefer men's clothes for simplicity. I prefer women's clothes for design. It's more interesting. Mm. Men's clothes aren't very interesting. <laughs> it's just like shirt, jacket. Boxy cut, slim cut. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Do I have a black full zip? Nope, I'm sold out. Yeah, we used to. We used to. We had a decent amount of zippies. Um, but... Charlie Brown just sold. What size is sell best? Depends on your customer. Would you ever sell car parts? Yes, whatever, anything. <laughs> would you I'm test open. it before I'm selling open. them? Definitely. Mm. I would test it before selling because who wants expensive car returns? Like, mm. no, I don't want quite great. So um, we're going to go now, mm -hmm. but I appreciate everybody. We have another show in 15 minutes. Get some lunch. We'll be back. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for hanging out, everyone, on YouTube. See you next Monday. We start usually at around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, yeah. Bye, Thank guys. you. Bye. <laughs>